It's 1153 and we're live. We're live early. How you doing, everybody? Oh, my God, we're live early. It's happening. It's unbelievable. It's happening. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> Uh, GameStop, 322 Um It's uh, up $22 uh, here. It's popped up uh, quite uh, quite a bit here in the last little while. Um, waiting for uh, earnings to come out, and uh, there's a lot of uh, speculation here as to, you know, how bad they're going to be. <laughs> shares shares do not seem to care. Uh, we were at um, uh, 307 about, uh, oh, 30, about an hour ago, and... Uh, and we're just we're just coming on here. Uh, three twenty two ninety seven right now. Three twenty three thirty three. Uh, the shares are getting uh, going higher, and there's uh, there's a real push here. Um, I guess uh, you know there's, there could be a number of reasons for it. Uh, maybe the numbers are going to be much higher than we thought, or um, the results from the vote, the shareholder votes, uh, showing how many shares were voted re with respect to how many are actually out there. Three twenty three eighty seven right now. Um, you know. The short position on this thing might be so out of whack that uh, uh, people are realizing, oh my God, you know, the the so-called official number of 11.9 million is not true, uh, and maybe people are figuring this out for the first time. I don't know what to say about that, but uh, 322 is the uh, price right now. Eight million shares traded on GameStop. It's the only stock of the memes that's really doing anything good. Uh, AMC is down four dollars eighty cents at fifty bucks. And over at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, they're down 234. BlackBerry is higher. They uh, broke the uh, the uh, the break-even number about an hour or so ago, but they're only up 11 cents. They're not having any kind of a good day there at all. Uh, so, what is happening is the question, and uh, uh, there's no denying it. There is a strong buying power coming into GameStop right now, um, and one has to wonder why is that? Why are the shares of GameStop uh, really taking a run here from just, uh, gosh, not even, what, 30 minutes ago, uh, we were at 311, 310 range, 309, and now 324, uh, up $24 on the day. Uh, real surge here on GameStop, and I thought I'll just come on early and start talking about it, see if anyone joins me. Uh, welcome to the uh, show. It's Uncle Bruce here with Stock Markets with Bruce. And here I am. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Ryan said at the uh, at the end of the annual me meeting, "Buckle up," like his dad used to say. And uh, we're now running this. Uh, we're watching the stock take a run. I don't know who's going to conduct the uh, the uh, 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 so-called uh, earnings report. Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The conference call. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Two words. Who's going to do the uh, conference call? Uh, who's handling it? Uh, is Mr. Cohen or what? I don't know. Uh, 324.18 is the price of the stock right now. Uh, and I was led to believe the earnings would come out after the bell. Uh, that's what I thought we had heard. Um, anyone know any different, you let me know. But I was thinking that after the bell, we'll hear about uh, the news uh, as far as the numbers will be you know, released after the close. Uh, and we'll then watch the market in the aftermarket, see how it reacts to all of this. I, I I'm just I'm assuming uh, we are now at uh, three o'clock uh, Eastern time, practically with a, an hour and four minutes to go. I guess just short of three o'clock Eastern, and um, I would expect at four o'clock or just after the numbers would come out, and then I thought at five o'clock Eastern, the uh, the uh, felt phone call will be had, the conference call. We'll see what uh, what this is all about. Um, there's just so much negative negative uh, talk about this stock. It's unbelievable. Uh, the any report you read, any any article you read today is just uh, this stock is garbage. This company is garbage. This the, these numbers are going to be garbage. Uh, just one after the other. And I, I'm uh, I'm I'm wondering if uh, there's some speculation here that people know more. Uh, some there are those who know something and they are buying this up. It's three twenty six now. It is popping three twenty five ninety nine right at this second in time on GameStop. Uh, as uh, AMC is uh, falling off a bit, um, it is now AMC is at 5020 down 485, and 32627 on GameStop. Uh, as GameStop keeps powering up, eight, eight, 280,000 just traded in five minutes while I've been sitting here talking to you. 8.28 million volume now um, on GameStop. So your GameStop folks uh, moving higher, looking good. Um, I wish I could give you more detail, but uh, until we get the official word, we are, you know, we're out there uh, on our own. Um, and we sure can't count on any media for any help because <laughs> there's no media that's friendly to this stock. Um, the uh, the uh, article, I, I joined an article a little while ago talking about uh, 
uh, analysts and they were, they were they were going back to a couple of analysts who are just expecting the company to be losing just tons of money and uh, just not going anywhere uh, as if nothing's happening it's it's unbelievable uh, they can't even get the quote right uh, with respect to the fact that um, this company had money going into uh, the year they raised additional cash uh, by issuing three and a half million shares to now be sitting on a billion bucks paid off their debt um, and they still uh, they still don't quite get the facts right. It, it, it's like it's just a, oh, well, that's, yeah, whatever. I mean, like they're poo-pooing it. Uh, I find it incredibly frustrating to uh, to have to uh, uh, read this nonsense when, you know, when we talk about this every day, we know what's going on and um, um, just trying to, you know, stay on top of the truth of what's really happening. Now, I'm not saying that this stock, that the company's got $2 billion in cash. I'm not saying they're making thousands of dollars a second. They're not making like millions of dollars or, you know, $20 a share. I'm not saying that. I know the stock's ahead of the fundamentals. I know that. But I believe that investors are betting on the future of this company by saying, I'm buying it here at 325, 326 because uh, of what I see coming up and what I see I like. But no one, for some reason, no one on Wall Street gets it. Uh, are they all right and we're all wrong? Um, I'm wondering what what's the matter here? I don't know. Anyway, there it is. Uh, such fun. And uh, welcome to, uh, you know, welcome to uh, the, the story, 32473. Um, the number that we're looking for is 346. That is the number. That is the, uh, the figure that I recall where the stock was when it got hit with an inexplicable attack of gargantuan proportions. And in 25 minutes and five trading halts in 25 minutes, the stock was crushed to 171 a share. Uh, rebounding back to 285 about an hour and a bit later, but still uh, not being back to 346 cents. So uh, 324, 325 right now, what will happen? I uh, really wonder just how this is going to uh, play itself out. Um, yeah, uh, no news on uh, on a CEO at this point. Not Nothing. That's, I guess, still in the works. I, I was thinking about this just the last half an hour. I thought to myself, maybe what's going on here is that Cohen um, has in mind a CFO, but um, I mean, a CEO, a new CEO, but he's not going to mention it until after he becomes chairman, which is today, and he's in full control. And maybe that's the plan. The plan is to uh, uh, get full control done, which he's done, which happened here, and now to um, bring out the first quarter financials uh, and then the beginning of the uh, constant updates um, coming our way as to what's happening. Maybe. Maybe that's how it's going to go, and and he'll you know in the next week or two release and announce who it is, and or they're in deep discussions with two or three candidates. They're trying to figure out who to go with, and or they've and they've got in mind who they want. They've picked they've picked their CEO. They know exactly who it is, but the CEO can't quite quit the job the CEO is in. Have to wait maybe to the end of this month or or what, I don't I don't know. Maybe someone's on a contract basis and earns a bunch of bonuses and dollars and stock options everything else and then at the end of the month they can then re then announce that they're leaving the firm they're with now it could be this that gamestop is stealing a high level ceo from somewhere else i'm i'm just hey, i'm guessing kids i'm giving you everything every conceivable idea every conceivable what if um um waiting to see what's uh, what's going on um anyway gme tweeted it is coming, a huge announcement. Um, it was already officially announced this morning, Bruce. Um, uh, good afternoon. What are your thoughts about buying some 300 put options on GameStop for shares that I own just in case things don't go as planned? Uh, look, you can buy insurance any way you want. It's totally up to you. Um, you know, it's uh, the, the stock, you know, could do, it could go down 50, up 50, or do nothing, uh, or do all three, you know, down, up, and come back i have no idea it is up 23 at the moment the 323 right now and that's all i know so we're just you know there it is um uncle bruce can you talk louder i'm listening to elevator music from the gme earnings call <laughs> uh yeah anyway there you have it um we're here waiting to see what is going to be said um and what can i tell you a january 2023 sofi calls at 50 too far out might be it a bit might be a bit too far out um but, um, you know, wouldn't doubt that the shares will go there. I just don't know if that's doable. But but then again, it is January 2023 you're talking about, isn't it? 
Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, and, uh, and anyway, um, Mr. Roja Mojo, would you hate me if I didn't hold GameStop anymore? Hey, you do whatever you want. It's your money, your stock, your, your, your risk tolerance. Um, anybody who has money in GameStop has to be prepared to lose it all. That, that's the way I've always talked about it. I don't think you're going to lose it all, but uh, you have to be prepared for volatility, although pretty well everybody here is a SPAC list, Uncle Bruce. Uh, Lunchbox, uh, is it too late to buy Gores and SoFi? No, it's not. It is not too late to do that. Uh, the SPAC list. Let me show you this uh, little uh, thingy I got here. Uh, had this sent to me today, and I uploaded it uh, here. Take a look at that. It kind of, I'm kind of above it here, but uh, there you go. There's FAII. They're going to become ATI physical physiotherapy. Then there's uh, Fortress. Uh, uh, no, sorry, that is uh, uh, Fifth Wall. They're going to take over Smart Rent. There's Gores taking over Matterport. There's uh, NSH ta taking on Spire. SVAC is going to become Sex Sextera. V V A C Q is going to become the uh, the Rocket Lab, and then the last one over here, Virgin Group becoming Twenty Three and Me, and of course we've already got SoFi that is no longer a SPAC; it is now trading as it at its own as its own entity. Uh, there you have the uh, there you have the uh, SPACs we're following right now. Um, three twenty two sixty five three twenty twenty six. We had a little spike. We're backing off a little bit. See what's coming up here. Um, Gore's Holdings, 1548 up a dime. It was uh, was up to start the day nicely. It was as high as 1596, first thing this morning. But it backed off to 1498 just around 2 in the afternoon and has now come back all the way back to 1548. This stock has climbed 50 cents in the last hour as it's powering back up on 500 plus thousand shares. Gore's Holding getting stronger as the day wears on. SoFi was uh, uh, only up a couple of times today, just barely, uh, mainly down uh, under underwater all day, but it had such a big day yesterday. I mean, a two plus dollar gain yesterday, really surprising power. It's down 64 cents to 23.25. It's barely giving back any of the gain it gained yesterday. So uh, this is actually pretty good performance. Uh, not too bad. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, Bruce, when the border opens, just how huge will your first Costco trip be? <laughs> how big is your station wagon? <laughs> Yeah, our little old Tesla, our Tesla, our little old uh, Sonata. Uh, we got a lot of room in that thing. We got the back seat in the trunk, and uh, uh, you know we usually uh, you know pick up on provisions. But you know we only buy enough food to last a couple of weeks. We're not. I'm not going to buy six months of Costco supplies. Uh, what's the point of that? But there are a few things that we will uh, definitely pick up. Uh, and as you know, certain items in Costco are bulkier than others because you know you can't buy two of anything from time to time. You have to buy twelve of things. But that's just the way that is. Anyway, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Last opportunity to get VGAC in the low tens today. Hopefully, I noticed also during uh, uh, during the break, I was watching the CNBC and they had on um, uh, they were doing their power lunch, whatever thing, and they had on a segment uh, that they do every day. It's uh, sort of a five. They cover five stories in like. Uh, 10 minutes with three other correspondents. And um, today they were talking about um, 23andMe. They, they were talking about 23andMe starting to trade next week as 23andMe. And they uh, they mentioned uh, VGAC, Virgin Group, and they mentioned the name of Richard Branson. Um, but I'll tell you, uh, as biased as they are, they just do not quit, these guys. They never quit. They showed a chart of your VGAC stock from the moment it hit the high, the all-time high, going forward, they they only show the stock from when it hit its high after they announced the deal to today, and they're showing you how badly it's doing. And the justification is, well, that's when they announced the deal. It's just unbelievable, as if as if every single investor of VGAC bought the stock the day they announced the take off, the merger with 23andMe, which is not true. The company came out at $10 a unit. There are a lot of people who never sold the this, this stock. They're still original unit holders. Uh, but these people that seem to see, they totally ignore that. They went to the high trade, started the chart from there, and they just showed a chart doing this. And, they, and they're talking about this is how bad SPACs are. This is just how bad they're doing. So incredibly biased. They had to admit, they had to grudgingly say, that the shares did come out at 10 and that they were trading at the time they were trading about oh i don't know 10 15 a unit or something like that they had to grudgingly admit that the units were in that you know but oh man talk about uh complete like this is the kind of chart they're showing right here this is the kind of chart right here forget don't even look at this little uptick we're talking starting there 
So they were showing this chart without that little uptick at the beginning here uh, and going, you know, there you go. There, there's your SPAC. That's, a, that's how SPACs are. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just total bias. I mean, just total hate bias. I, I just, I shake my head. I throw my hands in the air and go, wow, really? This is wacky. Anyway, unfortunately, this is today's chart. Uh, it is a down chart today. The shares are at 1047 this morning in the 1030 range. And now they're back down to the 1010 neighborhood. Um, so they're down 15 cents on the day today. But the meeting is tomorrow. The shareholder meeting is tomorrow. And it might be that uh, the shares have kind of got to be down here for that meeting. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how, what the mentality is of management and, uh, and of market makers and anyone else. I have no idea whether this is in any way being manipulated here, being guided here, being cajoled here. No idea. I, I uh, can't tell you, but uh, all bets are off after tomorrow uh, for VGAC. And from then on, 23andMe from ME. So we'll, we'll just stick around and see what happens. Um, lunchbox, $5 donation. Thank you. Are the SPACs long-term stocks to hold or are you expecting big changes sooner rather than later? I I'm thinking medium Short to medium term uh, for, for most of you, uh, you might be into them for the next uh, couple of months. Some of you might be into them for the next six months, a year. Uh, it all depends on just what your plans are for the shares and for your accounts. Um, if these shares perform for you and you're happy that they reach a 25, 35, 45 level somewhere up there, and you start to now write call contracts against these SPACs for, for income purposes, you'll hold them for a long, long time. If you're just looking for a flip, you know, if you're just looking for a, uh, you know, with the options you've acquired and so on. If in the next two or three months, these shares reach this uh, 20, 25, 30 range, your percentage gains on your, your options will be phenomenal. Uh, for some of you, you'll have phenomenal returns. And uh, uh, you have every right, and, and I would expect you to take profits, uh, sell your calls, roll into further out calls, or uh, start buying stock or, or diversify your holdings. And we'll, 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 go, we'll talk about that, of course, as we move along down the road. Uh, Bruce, I think some of us want you to write the tickers on your beautiful head. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for that, I think. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Uncle Bruce, are there any um, any uh, any jars left um, uh, out there? Uh, my friend is asking how I can buy a, f a farting out loud. How can how can buy one of your farts? Uh, would you would you send that to us? Uh, like RC's dad used to say, sit down and buckle up. No earnings were reported. Um, that's coming shortly. We're waiting. We're just waiting. Coming shortly. Uh, RB volume is settling down from 10, 15 minutes ago. It's true. Um, I got five gallons of mayonnaise, says John. Uh, did I miss it? Um, Colin, I like how Bruce now pre-reads any, any of my comments to make sure he can read them aloud. He skips most of them. Uh, there's a reason for that, Colin. Uh, do you think I know? You, you kind of got to agree with me on that. Mind you, you put, you're putting them out there. Everyone can read for themselves, I suppose. Anyway, Gabriel Gutierrez uh, became a YouTube member. Gabriel, how you doing, man? Thank you for uh, joining in. It's nice to have you. Uh, this is good stuff. Uh, Feds, I've been at work. Hi, everybody. Hey, Feds. Uh, Colin, he just chuckles and scans further down. Uh, I generally, you know, some of you guys, your comments aren't worth reading. We're, worth reading. <laughs> Not worth sharing with humanity, uh, but yet you put them out there. Do we know about the new CEO or not till later? I don't believe so, uh, unless somebody knows something I don't know. Uh, you, sh Colin, you should take that personally. Uh, great shirt, Uncle B. Uh, welcome, Gabriel. Um, <laughs> Colin, you're not alone. He skips mine too. Uh, J. Ray, Uncle Bruce, um, um, FWAA and VACQ are non optionable at the moment. They don't have options on them at the moment. Yes. Will that change or is there something about these two that make them special? Uh, that will probably change uh, sooner or later. Will change. There will be options on these, but I can't tell you when. Um, I can't tell you why there aren't any. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I've speculated that it may be a money thing. I don't know. Uh, when, when, when it happens, it happens. But I think eventually that will happen. Anyway, there you are. All right. Um, yeah, um, yeah, here we go. You know, uh, but oh, GameStop is down 33 cent percent also from the January high. That's true. Uh, you take that $480 high and GameStop is way off from 483 a share. You're right uh, from way off from 483. It's way down to 320. It hasn't, it's nowhere near its high. There you go. Another reason to buy maybe on the dip. Another buying opportunity is what that looks like to me. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Oh, gosh, here we go. Uh, let's go. Uh, <coughs> J. 
do, 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 do. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, what is this? What time is this GameStop thing today? I, isn't it five Eastern? Was that was that it? Was it five Eastern for the call? But I think the earnings come out right after the bell. I I I'm not sure. I I think that's how this is going to go. Lunchbox new member. How you doing, Lunchbox? Welcome to the channel today. Larry Titus is in the house. How you doing, everybody? Way way to go. Ye skipped it. Um, let's see. Um, and uh, what else is going on? Uh, 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 Bryce, uh, uh, Briss, uh, my goal is to take your class, learn how to do options, and quit my job as a nurse. Uh, and then one day I'll learn how to spell your name right too. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, just, I just threw that in there. I'm just teasing. I'm just having fun, uh, trying to be funny. Anne Marie, I love you. Thank you so much. And uh, I hear you. Uh, you. You can do what you can do the option thing and write your job, quit your job right on. Have you had a year? Oh my God, have you ever had a year? I'm looking to flip some calls that will pay for shares I hold long term. There you go. Uh, I uh, come back for me as uh, oh, whatever. Oh, welcome, Lunchbox. Uh, James Doe, I did, uh, I, uh, Joe, I did for a month so I can slightly postpone my death. I have no idea what's going on there. Private conversation going on. Then I cannot, uh, I cannot, uh, you know, I, I, I cannot make sense of this stuff. Um, are you using OBS, Bruce? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not using OBS. So you can't help me with tickers. Um, uh, what else is going on here? Uh, uh, 320 right now. I'm showing the stock at 320. Uh, and uh, uh, <clears throat> hey, Uncle Bruce, when are you going to break out the bass and play for us? I haven't played my bass guitar uh, for more than like a two or three minutes. Um, in a decade or more, maybe 20 years. I, I rarely, rarely, I, I have it, but I barely touch it. Uh, so I'm not breaking up for you. Uh, no, no. Uh, Mr. E, I feel like VGAC is being manipulated down for the benefit of large institutional investors that cannot buy into it yet. Uh, they want to entice the big fish to invest, but not at 20 bucks. Uh, no, this deal is a done deal. VGAC has been funded. It's got $950 million coming into its hands tomorrow or Day after tomorrow, it's a, this money's in trust. It's already bought. Institutions are in. This is a done deal. This is. I just think that the shares are being held in this neighborhood or kind of being guided around here until this vote is officially closed tomorrow, and and then the all the strings are off of it. But that's my guess. I could be wrong. Um, we'll see. Uh, John Van Bruce, it's not that they're all bad. We're just giving you extra things to talk about. Stay strong and go get in game stuff. <laughs> John Jepson, a uh, new member. How you doing, John? Um, welcome to this group. Um, uh, Larry is currently dropping sandwich crud on his uh, keyboard. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Your comments aren't worth reading. Oh, burn, burn. You know, I mean, if you haven't got something good to say, why should I repeat it? Uh, first, first question as a member at Lunchbox is saying, I am thinking about selling my GameStop to roll over into SPACs. I'm finally in the green on GameStop, and I kind of want to get out and into something less volatile. Well, they're, they're, hey, you know, whatever, whatever works. I, there is nothing wrong with selling a stock that you've made money on and moving into something else. Uh, uh, the SPACs that you know, you're following, whether they're mine or whatever, uh, yeah, more power to you. Uh, uh, it's just interesting to see how GameStop has had such a run in, what, two weeks now, two and a half weeks from 160 to here. Uh, with virtually no news, um, and that that kind of kind of kind of doesn't that make you kind of go, yeah, that's right. You know, Bruce is right. They, they have not made any formal news announcements of any significance at all. And uh, the shares were two twenty. Um, what was it? Uh, what was it? Two twenty a week ago, Monday, and uh, the week before that, they were one sixty, one seventy, um, and now here we are, Tuesday. Wednesday, 318. Um, yeah, that's interesting, huh? Um, and is this it? Is, is this is this it? 318, that's all she wrote. She's not going to go any higher than this? I, I don't think so. Uh, something tells me there's there's more. Uh, I, I'm going to get naked now, so you don't mind don't mind me. I'm going to take off my clothes. Um, I have a new shirt. I got, I've got a new t-shirt on. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a new t-shirt. Like it's you know the shirt is new, okay. The logo is not new, but the shirt the shirt is new. I got a I got a white uh, I got me a white uh, one of these guys with the uh, with this logo on it. So now I have you know I have a couple of colors of this of this shirt with this logo on it, 
And this one, this is a nice shirt. This is a, a guild, and it's really uh, nice and soft. It's really great. I like it. Uh, but anyway, uh, what can I say? Uh, you do what you got to do. As, as my dad said, buckle up. That's right. Hang on. Get ready, kids. Uh, 5 Eastern is the uh, time of their conference call. Exactly. And I'm, I'm going to guess that the, sh the, sh the earnings per share, the, the first quarter financials earnings, will be released right after the close of the market, which should be just after, you know, a little after 42 minutes from now when we close, maybe in five or 10 minutes after that, they'll release their financials. And then at five o'clock uh, that next hour, they have their conference call to talk about it and or talk about how it went and what's happening now. And maybe they're gonna talk about the future and, you know, we can talk about stuff. We'll see what's going on. I have to ask myself, should I even stay on the air um, uh, through that or should I get off the air and then come back tomorrow and react to it? I don't know. I'm going to have to see what uh, see what happens. Uh, okay. Um, anyway, uh, uh, there we go. Colin is saying, I've set my buy limit at 100 just in case things get weird. I mean, if the stock goes for a dip this afternoon, I'll buy them at 100 and then let it ride back to 300 bucks again. Not a bad move. Um, are we at 10,000 a share yet? Um, no, uh, then then get, I'm going back to sleep. Lunchbox, wait, did you say sell GameStop uh, per squeeze? Uh, hey, uh, whatever whatever you want to do. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are streaming it live on GameStop TV on YouTube. Um, okay, uh, earning at the close, uh, uh, webcast at five. Okay. Um, uh, peanut butter and strawberry Welch's to be exact. What are you talking about, Larry? Uh, results press release will be before the call. Um, and uh, Bruce, uh, I missed part of the morning show, and I must know, how was your Welch's grape jelly from the U.S. of A? As good as I remember it. It was fantastic. Love that grape jelly. Got two jars, um, two glass jars of grape jelly uh, from Welch's uh, from, uh, from our buddy Tom. Uh, Tom uh, sent me this note right here. Tom Somers, uh, thank you, Tom, again. Hey, Brucey, I hear that your bagels are in dire need of this. And he sent me two jars of uh, of uh, Welch's grape jelly. And, I mean, to show you, you know, how serious the uh, the entire deal is, I mean, I still have one jar still wrapped up in the uh, in the bubble wrap that it came in. You can see the, you can see the uh, lid there. Yeah, so, I mean, so this, this, this thing is... Uh, protect it against uh, any eventuality out there, and that's pretty darn good. I, I tell you, this this bubble wrap stuff is pretty darn. You can't get it out. I mean, there's no there's no way. I have to cut the uh, I have to cut the tape, and that's why it's still in here. Anyway, yeah, this all this arrived very safe, very sound uh, from the USA, and I'm pretty uh, pretty happy about that. Yeah, it went great. Uh, buckle up, Buttercup. Hang on for a ride on GameStop. We're at 318 right now. Uh, we did touch a high of uh, $328 so far today, um, but that was just a, gr a brief moment. But it did get a did get a shot there. Uh, how are we doing for thumbs ups? Um, 365 only. Uh, that's not good. Uh, only 365 thumbs ups with 40 minutes to go. You guys aren't going to make it. I might as well just grab this thing right now. I'm going to grab this. Uh, YouTube album, and since you're not going to give me a thousand thumbs ups by the close, I might as well just put it on the record player right now, because it's obvious that at 381 thumbs ups, we're not going to make it. Uh, there's just there's just no way. Let's just get this thing out here, put it out there, get it on the record player right now. Get get lined up here. Uh, start playing Yoko the minute the the, the close hits, um, because I can tell you right now, you guys are obviously not interested in giving me thumbs ups. Here goes the Polygon record from 1985. Here she goes. Uh, let's set her up right there. Okay, we're ready to go. Um, and uh, we'll just put these beautiful albums over here because these are these are such great tracks. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, look, you can save you can save me and yourselves if you want. If you want to hit those thumbs ups button, those thumbs ups buttons. Uh, I won't play Yoko, but we're on the record player right now because uh, I mean we got a spurt right now. I have to admit, you're at five seventy three. I appreciate that, but geez, we're we're nowhere near a thousand thumbs up. So we're going to have to we're going to have to get that turntable going. Uh, uh, what was that? What was that? Uh, the one of the hits she had went something like ah, something like that. I can't wait to get that one in. I want to harmonize to it. Um, yeah, ah, that'll be great. Uh, it's going to be a super time. Uh, we can we can hold hands, stand around the campfire together, and sing Kumbaya. Ah, uh, whatever that is. 
Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. And sorry that uh, I understand. You, you don't want to give out thumbs ups every time. I get it. There's days you don't want to do a thumbs up for a YouTube creator because you hate them. You, you secretly don't like them. And I, I understand. I mean, how can I be liked all the time? It's impossible. Um, what can I say? I'm with Jay. What was that sound? Oh, yeah, warming up the pipes. Uh, <laughs> my dogs are barking. Something died. Uh, what the heck? I, did I just join, Johnson? What have I done? I've joined this channel where there's a Yoko Ono album being put on a turntable. What is going on here? Uh, 675 thumbs up. We need, we need 325 more to stop Yoko from screaming at you. Um, but then again, maybe that's what you guys need. Maybe you need a little bit of cleansing of your ear pipes and eardrums. Maybe maybe that'll help you know get some of the wax to fall off and fall out of those ear ducts to help your hearing. Uh, maybe this is what the doctor might have told you to do. Perhaps you should go get your best high quality uh, earphones, put them on, crank it up all the way, and then when I turn this baby on, this thing hits 88 miles an hour. Uh, your your hearing and um, you know all that electric shock therapy used to have will it'll all come back to you and you'll be right back you'll be brought right back to the modern day it'll bring you right into the modern world maybe that's what we need after all I just think about that you know it's, it's for your own good I'm just I'm just showing I only have so many thumbs ups to give uh, <laughs> Uh, hey, Bruce, did you ever think about being a Yoko impersonator uh, and traveling the globe? You, you could, you're, you know, Uncle Bruce sounds like he's giving birth to a sick calf. I mean, you know, hey, um, uh, Tony, it's all, it's all love here, Uncle Bruce. It's all love. Uh, we need the Uncle Bruce dance to go with that campfire song. <laughs> Uh, I just refreshed. I was like, yeah, that's crazy low. Uh, 679 down, 321 to go. Richie Thomas, hey, buddy. Thank you for this uh, donation. Uh, hey, Bruce, just want to ask you to pass my condolences to people talking about selling GameStop after holding in the red for so long. People tend to forget why they got into the stock in the first place. It's going to a 1,000 a share is where it's going, and they keep forgetting that's why they're here. I need a Yoko dance party. Come on, Uncle Bruce. You know you can do it. Yoko on the turntable already. It's only 323 um, <laughs> to filter the rough stuff up, but the rest is more than worth it. Oh, man, how do you know the sound of my farts, Uncle Bruce? Daniel, rule number one, don't talk about Yoko. Uh, James, I was thinking the same thing here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, how are we doing on those thumbs ups? Where are we at? 747. You see, we're, we're, not, we're not even close. Uh, we still need 252 thumbs ups. They're just not coming in. I mean, there's 1,400 people here. I mean, we should already be at 1,000 thumbs ups. So how can that not be? Uh, everyone knows if you give a thumbs ups, they're free. One. Two, they encourage more people to be sent here. Three, more people in coming in here, we'll find out all about GameStop and all the other stocks you follow, which means they could be buying this stuff. Uh, but no, you don't want your stock to go up. You want your stock to go down. You need your stock to go down. You're all short sellers. That's what it is. I'm talking to a whole bunch of shills. All you guys are shills for the hedge funds, and I'm the only guy that isn't. I see what's going on here. Okay, I got it. All right, that's why the Yoko thing has to be done. I got to get the Yoko going to get you people back to the other side. Uh, you got to be thinking, you know, up... <laughs> 209 to go no yes 204 to go we're at 796 803 we need 197 thumbs ups i'm begging you please clean the crud out of your ears oh no wow noise i never heard yoko before please play it <laughs> so this is this kind of a threat of a warm crime uh, isn't this like uh you're in Canada, and a lot of us are overseas. Isn't this international law being broken that you're breaking the you're doing something with the airwaves internationally with this rule? Right, the, the number two rule number two: don't talk about Yoko. Uh, Kawaii chat. Is everyone may, busy making new YouTube accounts? Uh, what's going on here? Uh, to give them a thumbs up. Just kidding. We love you, Bruce. We love you. Uh, Jonathan, lighters out. Lighters are out for Yoko. We're gonna put the lighter on for Yoko. Oh my God. Um, I'm on vacation with my wife and my kid, and they're both wondering, what the hell am I watching on YouTube for stock discussions? <laughs> what, 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 is this, what is this guy? Uh, he holds up this Yoko album all the time, and he's supposed to be talking about stock trades. Uh, what is happening? Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes you have to shock the system. You know, you got to, you got to kind of, you know, like you, like with swimming pools. You know, you got to shock a swimming pool to get the algae out. You know, sometimes you got to shock the YouTuber viewers to kind of. Get a thumbs up. I mean, what YouTube creators have to do to get thumbs ups is 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 really legendary. It really is something. Uh, 844 have come in. 
I got 29 on the downside, which is inexplicable, but it's the way it is. Uh, we need 154 more thumbs ups to avoid turning on this uh, this uh, turntable here. Oh man, it, it's just it, they're just cr crawling in. I mean, it's just so sad. I don't know what I'm going to say and what's not going to happen. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to. Oh my, Yoko rocks. Uh, woof woof. Um, um, Sharon, yes, yes, it's cruel and unusual just to start with. Uh, is any GameStop news there yet? We're still waiting. Uh, curious to know how many of us really don't plan on selling. Um, what's the word here? Uh, uh, hang on. A uh, real selling on either GameStop or AMC until 1,000. Laughing out loud. Uh, Uncle Bruce, don't quit your day job, please. Uh, let's play Yoko outside the house of some of those hedge fund fund managers trying to short SoFi. Let's go, Yoko. <laughs> we'll teach these guys. We'll teach these guys to try to short uh, and, and play games against uh, SoFi. It's twenty two sixty on SoFi, down a dollar twenty nine. They're picking on our SoFi right now, down a dollar twenty nine a share. Uh, there's an opportunity for you folks out there who were wondering about getting SoFi options. You were worried about those crazy prices on those SoFi options. Maybe, just maybe, they have come back to you a little bit on this little dip here. Twenty two sixty six on SoFi. You have a shot of perhaps getting in here. Uh, AMC at 5077. Gore is at 1546 up eight cents. Uh, VGAC 1013 down 12 cents on the day. Fifth wall at 1114 up 39 cents again. Vector acquisition 1051 up four. NAF site at 994 and starboard value uh, up two cents. Fortress at 10 bucks even. They've got them right back to 10 again. I uh, wonder what's going on. No Yoko equals no earnings. Oh uh, my. Uh, Ways the woof with Woko. Uh, yeah, uh, my son likes to ask me if I'm watching Uncle Ben again. <laughs> I guess Uncle Bruce's next shirt needs to be orange. Uh, Uncle Ben, uh, is he watching Uncle Ben again? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, wait, is, is, is Uncle Bruce really John Lennon after he faked his death and became a stockbroker and retired to Crescent? Yeah, yeah. Let me get this right. Uh, John Lennon apparently passed away at age 40. In 1980, uh, that was uh, well. How many years ago are we talking about? That's uh, 42 years ago. He would be 82 today. Do I look like I'm 82 year old John Lennon to you? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh man, um, uh, drive my car. Uh, one of my favorite bass lines, Paul McCartney, drive my car. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. I just picked up a thousand shares of VACQ. What the hell? I don't even care if GameStop hits $4,200 per share. I just need you to like this video. That's the bottom line. Uh, and that's an incredible amount of effort that goes into pushing the thumbs up, Uncle Bruce. You just understand the hardships of 2021. I tell you, I, I know I'm really putting you out there, asking you, begging you to give me something that's free. Uh, just hit the little thing that does this. And I have 895 of them. And I beg and I plead every day for thumbs up so hard. Uh, beg and plead and th anything so that YouTube will promote my channel because we are at 99,001 subscriber right now. We're at 99,001 coming into the show. We are losing every day 10, 20, 30, 40 subscribers every day. And I'm trying to stem the tide by trying to grow this channel. And by growing this channel, I mean getting thumbs ups from you guys to get more people in here to grow the channel. But you're not helping me. You're not helping me. Uh, it's not working. Let's have a Yoko Uncle Bruce dance session today. Uh, Brandon, uh, oh, you might be onto something. Uh, Bill Cohen, I, 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 it'll, it'll be the executive of your estate. I'll be the executive of your estate. Um, and someone needs to uh, give SoFi a couple of thumbs ups. I, if I don't want to pay capital gains on my SoFi options, can I exercise the contracts? Uh, I, I, and that's not for me to answer. Can't answer that one. You're not Now you're going to need to talk to a securities tax specialist. That's a whole other ball game. Um, he's on to us now. Run, uh, Bruce just gave us the uh, Uno card. Uh, he he doth protest too much. <laughs> he's pulling. Bruce is pulling the reverse card. Um, uh, so many shills in here. Uh, darn, he figured it out. Everyone in this channel is a shill. Uh, Bruce is very pepper, pepper, pepper this afternoon. I love it when he's giddy. Um, up is down and down is up. What? Uh, hey, uh, Bertie, uh, Bill, uh, thumbs up from throwing strength, laughing out a lot. Been watching for a long while. Finally was able to join. Uh, watch Uncle Bruce every day. My wife thinks I'm nuts laughing out loud. She, you're crazy. What can I say? I'm doing what I can. Uh, unfortunately, I, while I'm yapping away, I'm trying to make stocks go up, but they're not going up. They're going down. So far, <clears throat> down 119, although it's a little better than it was a minute ago. GameStop, 310, uh, backed off from 328 to 310. 
That's back where it was about an hour ago. Uh, AMC 5076 doesn't seem to be moving uh, unless my phone is frozen or something. 130 million traded on uh, AMC. That shows you how quiet AMC is beginning to get. That was 500, 600 million a day trading way down now. Gore's up 14 cents, uh, 1552. VGAC 1010 down 15 cents. Buy on the dip. Uh, get your contracts on the on the VGAC. You got a taste, a little tiny hint, the littlest, tiniest, tiniest taste of what is about to happen on VGAC yesterday. You just you just got a little. Oh, that's what's going to happen. And those of you out there who have not cut your contracts, this is your chance or your show, or your stock. Get get it now because uh, this 23andMe crowd they're not fooling around. They're not here for you know, to have fun and tea and crumpets. They're here to make money. Uh, and that, that requires the stock to go up because there are some serious shareholders in that 23andMe group. Uh, watch out. Okay. Uh, that's about it right there. Uh, 2264 on SoFi, 309.63 on uh, GameStop. And we have 27 minutes until we close for the bell here. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on. I got two thumbs ups, right? If you get the SoFi to $25 in the next 30 minutes. You see, it's reverse. You see, Dave. You give the thumbs ups to get more people to come in here. The more people who come in here, hear about how great SoFi is, they run out and buy it, making your stock go up. You see, you have to move. It's you. you see, I, ah, okay. Um, not, not enough likes. And Uncle Bruce becomes Uncle Bryce with a Yoko record. <laughs> We got 180 to go. A uh, player at 45 speed, Bruce. Just make it quick, please. Stop the suffering. Make it, make it. It's like ripping a band aid off, would you, man? Just rip the band aid off. I just told my wife I have a new financial advisor. N not that I had one before. Uh, if you're still doing private talks, I might need to book something. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, yes, yes. We're, we're, we are doing private talks, but I'm now booking out to July. Okay, Uncle Bruce, unleash the Yoko. Uh, everyone split up. Uh, split up. They can't chase us all. Uh, why is SoFi taking a hit? Because you're not giving me enough thumbs ups. You, you obviously don't like it, and and so you you don't want to make money. You're happy losing money, and so you're not going to give the YouTuber thumbs ups to promote the YouTuber who's promoting your stock for you. How simple is it? It's so easy. It's all in your hands. You could get so rich by just going click. That's all you got to do. It's so simple. Uh, Auntie, uh, we need a lighter emoji now for when he puts Yoko on. Um, uh, she won't mind once you get rich. Uh, damn it, broke below 317 again. I swear, GameStop goes down every time Yoko is mentioned. Can we change to Cindy Lauper or something? <laughs> psst, psst, he's on to us, folks. Who told him we were shill hedgies? Run, destroy your orders. Uh, he's on to us. GameStop estimate is at 83 cent loss per share. That is 310 per share right there. Um, uh, plot twist, Jen is actually Yoko Ono Lennon from it. Um, how hot, hot tub, snowbank, hot tub, snowbank. I do not know what this means. Steve, the stock has been going up since Bruce has been playing Yoko. So, uh, I think it, it's, we, we, we need it more today than ever before. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Can, can we get those 1985 Yoko sunglasses on red bubble, please? Uh, Richie Thomas, thank you for this donation. Uh, this is for you, Bruce. Uh, thank you for IPOE and SoFi. Uh, I got in at 15 bucks. I invested a little bit of money, uh, a little over 45 grand. Not going to mention what the gain is like, but you can do the math. Uh, 2270 right now. It's down to 119, but you know it'll, it'll be going up. It'll go much higher than this. Yoko name makes the dogs howl like Frau Blucher makes the horses cry in Young Frankenstein. <laughs> Frau Blucher, <laughs> nice shirt, Uncle Bruce. You look so refreshed and relaxed. Uh, punched below 315 support. We're at 31094. Uh, got the 309, now 31094. Uh, please don't embarrass me in front of my wife. I'm telling her this is for our future. <laughs> he's, he's a really nice guy, and he's got some really good ideas, and he's got some good stock picks. But, you know, every once in a while, he goes off on these Yoko tangents, and we can't help it. I don't know what to think about this guy. James, say stocks go burn. $1,000 needs more zeros. 
Benny, just like the Beatles, Yoko is pulling us apart. Uh, Sharon, I'm selling 20 shares at $600. It's been something my husband and I have planned since January. There you go. Dan Hammer, Yoko is definitely number two. Uh, John, bought a bunch of IPOE because of Uncle B. Now wife is a fan. Go figure. Uh, laughing out loud. There you go. Um, SLG, uh, Sharon, 881 uh, with 119 to go. Tom, an unnamed Goldman Sachs analyst, upgraded GameStop to a buy, according to the analysis summary provided to be via TD. Uh, okay, uh, I'd like to hear that. We're at 1,000 thumbs ups, apparently. Apparently, we got 1,000 thumbs ups. It's it's happened. It, it, they've come in. Uh, this is unreal. GameStop to 5,000 shares. All depends on how hard apes hold if hedge funds are the uh, level one boss. Uh, go ahead, play Sky people. I dare you, Jane. Uh, call how many? How many dong is one hundred AED? Uh, do you think the hundred thousand floor is something uh, possible? You think it's possible? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll sell one. The ten to one split happens, and then it'll run back up to three hundred, and I'll only sell one. There, you, there you go. Uh, make it happen. Absolutely possible. If nobody sells, Franz, a uh, new member. Thank you, Franz. France, uh, thank you, buddy, for coming in here. New member, Uncle Bruce, is GameStop a long-term hold? Like a year and beyond, I want to turn SPAC money into GameStop shares to sell covered costs. There you go. I think they're going to be, uh, I, I think you be a shareholder for a long, 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 long time, and you can be an option writer for this for this stock too. Uh, I've encouraged many of you to do it. Uh, take money off the table here. Uh, heck, if you're writing $400 calls or $500 calls a couple months out, you can get some silly, stupid money. It's unbelievable how much money you can get from GameStop for these contracts and uh, use that to buy stock on the dips or pick off some of your SPACs or get some SPAC contracts. I mean, geez, uh, there's opportunities here. My, my son calls you butter. <laughs> Bruce, someday you'll be a world legend, not just not just our private little legend. Uh, I'm here because friends chose, friend, what, because, before, what, close, enemies closer? Uh, I, oh, I hold my friends close and my enemies closer. Selling uh, SPACs instead of buying more GameStop is shill 101. Right there, there that's right, Bruce, you're a total shill. Brad's welcome. Uh, that Creston, uh, that Creston must have a founder youth mystery solved. See, because I'm 82. See, I'm John Lennon. And I'm 82, but I, you know, I, I don't look it. How about that? A lot of plastic surgery, failed plastic surgery, and here I am. Um, what is the difference on American versus European derivatives? O -o -o only then will I will like. I have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, thank you. Finally, part of the Bagel Gang. Uh, right on. Welcome, friends. So Uncle Bruce is four foot eight high and eighty two years old. The, the details are coming more and more clear every day. It's all coming out. All right, Tobias, there are only a certain amount of crazy people. Eddie, shall we tease Uncle Bruce more for for one minute? We will all take our thumbs. We'll take away our thumbs ups. No hard feelings, Uncle Bruce. Oh man, uh, Randy, I've turned gains on SPACs into nearly double GameStop position. Get out. Uh, losing subscribers now. This summer is when they're going to get good. We ain't seen nothing yet. Bruce is Yoko's love child of uh, 958, 42 to go. We've made it. Uh, Kayla, Kayla, um, um, Randy, ah, except for most of us have GameStop and SPACs. And when you're up 20 grand in SPACs and they're just getting off the ground, you got to be grateful. Uh, yeah, there you go. 2285 on SoFi. It's getting a little better. It's down to 104. 309 on GameStop uh, was 328 for the high here. Um, AMC 5085 down 420. Gore is up 27 cents, has recovered its loss that it started having within an hour of opening. It just turned right around. It's up again. Uh, VGAC, 10.11, down 14 cents. That's where it is. The meeting's tomorrow. Uh, fifth wall acquisition, 11.12, up 38 cents. It's just powering higher. Vector at 10.54, up 7 cents, still holding a gain. Uh, nav site unchanged at 9.94. And Starboard up a penny at 10. Fortress value, 9.98. Uh, kits. Uh, you you have your chance. Uh, you have your chance. I'm an Uncle Bruce Shill, says Lou. Oscar, turn on the chat for not the, for not that will help getting more subs. Turn on the chat for not that will help getting. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah I'm not turning on the chat. Not gonna do it. Uncle Bruce, my husband wants to know if uh, if you uh, if you can talk without your hands. Uh, okay, I'll get. I'll, let me let me give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna sit on my hands right now. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Can't do it. Uh, no, nope, no, can't do it. Got to use my hands. Uh, it's, uh, I tried. I, I gave it a shot. Doug Parsons, Wookie, uh, U.S. options uh, can can best, what, can, can set to expire any day, can be set to expire. Uh, Europeans only ex exit at the end of the week. Uh, if that's right, Uncle Bruce also 
CME lets you do midweek ones as well. No, they no, they don't. No, 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 no. Not the ones I follow. The contracts that I talk about for the stocks that I talk about every Friday is expiry day. Uh, but these contracts can go from one week in length all the way out to like a year or two. So, um, but I don't know what you're talking Doug, I, I don't follow any other stuff. Tony, John, uh, John Epson will wait till she finds out she he eats bagels live on the air. She'll, she'll be looking for a boyfriend real soon. Uh, there you go, Bill. <laughs> Cal, I'm stunned. It seems surreal. A, a dream. Uh, Credit Savage, uh, why are these people trying to keep SoFi down? Have they no idea that it's a three-handle stock? Wait till interest rates go up and up and up. up. Uh, well, you know, 22.80 down to dollar nine. You get these attacks. We've had several attacks on SoFi today. Um, you may or may not have noticed the attacks on SoFi, um, and and they're sudden. I mean, they're they're really dramatic. I'm not sure if this chart will help you, but uh, this is the opening here, and immediately zit, and then we got up here, and then zit, and then came back zit, and then it worked its way back, 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 back zit, and then came back, 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 back zit, and then here, here, and then. Zip again, and now this big one right here. Uh, all day, there have been attacks on SoFi all day. Do, do those look familiar to do to you? Those you GameStop shareholders out there, does that pattern in any way remind you of anything uh, that we were going through the last uh, what four months now on GameStop? Yeah, well, you know this pattern. It doesn't last, and it doesn't work because uh, the shareholders just keep coming and buying it up and buying it up, tightening up the hold. SoFi will go much, much higher, and the shorts will get creamed. They're going to get creamed. Kayla, Kayla, cracks me up how people come in here who know nothing about the channel and what is discussed every day. Such a lack of wisdom. See, there you go. They just, they just come waltzing on in here. and They don't know anything. Well, what can I say? Uh, gotta, you know, we gotta, gotta educate the masses one at a time. You know, do the best we can with what we have. Uh, ah, I'm trying to get some shares of VGAC, right? ASAP, nice and cheap. Bought 139. VGAC today. Uh, Tony, are you volunteering to be uh, the boyfriend? Um, can there be a tea and crumpets with the money, please? Uh, what is the difference on American versus European derivatives? I have no idea what he's talking about. Alex, uh, RIP 346 not happening today. Maybe not. Maybe in the aftermarket. Thumbs ups for SoFi. I mostly got GameStop and VGAC. Tony, Jane Doe, I need to see her portfolio. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to be her boyfriend, I, I got to know what I'm getting into here. I mean, uh, you know, has she got any, uh, you know, got, got any decent portfolio, good, good, good stocks? Uh, and uh, what's what's the cash balance in her checking account? I mean, hey, you know, uh, Briss ain't nice. Uh, Nine ninety six, four to go. Uh, Uncle Bruce, I rolled my ten VGAC one twelve twelve and a half uh, calls from July sixteen and bought five twelve and a half calls for January. Okay, now you're you're set for January. Jane Doe, Tony. Um, on Reddit, Superstock posted by Ryan Cohen's speech from earlier meeting. Daniel Bly, I would rather listen, was it listen? I would rather listen to the Macarena straight for 10 hours than hear Yoko again. Hit that darn thumb, um, th like button for Bruce. Here, Ona said we got it. Oscar, you got it. Jay, uh, Matt Coors said on his channel on YouTube that a lot of his subscribers were complaining that they had been unsubscribed from his channel and they hadn't done it. So everyone check that you're so you're so you're subscribed to Uncle Bruce. So double check your subscription. Make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. If you thought you were subscribed to this channel, uh, well, we've lost seven thousand subscribers in uh, about uh, about two months ever since the attack of the AMC crowd. Uh, so what can I say, uh, Stephen? We got a thousand thumbs ups. Uh, Sharon, one thousand. Yoko is staved off for yet another day. The credit savage. Uh, that's it. If SoFi hits 20 again, I'm going to buy in uh, to buy 100 more shares and two more of those contracts for 2020, and we'll donate to play Yoko. Uh, <laughs> Benny, um, alive in OC. Uh, <laughs> um, live in OC, we're Mexican. I watch you every day. My daughter asks me, who's that old guy? And I said, he's our Canadian uncle. Say hi to your uncle. <laughs> Uh, it's Uncle Bruce. I'm the old guy, Uncle Bruce. Uh, everything can happen with GameStop, but I think smaller steps like 3 to 5% each day would be better. Uh, Cindy Lauper can really sing, says Sharon. Uh, Bill, okay, I have one kidney left. What am I being offered for this one? Uh, Brandon, Kate Bush is the Gen X version of Yoko Ono. Irritating singing voice. Drew, Cindy Lauper can actually sing, says Drew. Uh, Kayla, Kayla, Dan Hammer, yes, please. Uh, Waffle. Who's Cindy Lauper? My friend is asking. Tony, uh, how many dong is this, uh, Colin? Uh, DQ Bill, according to Pence, on the mileage. Uh, Bruno, um, Bruce, 
turn the comments back on when you post videos. I love reading the haters' comment when I make serious money with your SPACs. I, I just love it. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we just encourage them to get others to come in, and and then and then we get the private emails that are really nasty. And so, sorry, we we can't do that at this time. Uh, what can I say? Um, a boomer singer from the eighties, <laughs> Kayla. Kayla, seriously, I can't get over the the shilliness. Of all your, your enemy anti GameStop people following the advice of someone who obviously has no experience and is paid by the hedgies. Oh, well, you know. Jay, uh, say to the subscribers to check Uncle Bruce that they have not been unsubscribed. Uh, twice I have posted this. Uh, aren't SPAC warrants, especially uh, just 1150 calls with a five year expiry? Isn't that a good deal? Leverage wise, once the merger is confirmed, um, they're not necessarily five years. They, they There are caveats in the prospectus and and um, uh, they can be changed uh, they they can become not, like 60 day notice uh, things premium gets eliminated eliminated immediately uh, I would not go there I would avoid those for sure uh, just safety tips uh, I'll have all I got you things oh we got tw uh, four, 12 minutes to go till the close all right Bruno game gamer life so much as uh, uh, C Pain just said on his show, shorts are down seven billion on GameStop and four billion on AMC. Lou Streak uh, A E D is Ameritai Durham's about twenty five pounds thirty five dollars. A E D. Uh, uh, Lou, I, I appreciate. It. I don't know how much uh, how much are uh, how much are a uh, what what's one A E D to a U.S. dollar? Is it is it is it pegged at three to one? I don't even know. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think uh, uh, one hundred K is possible since it's more money than on the planet. Uh, he got my name right on the first shot. Fr France, France, uh, feels ami. Um, doing what I can. F L A, F L A, F F A, F F A. Fa. <laughs> France, uh, France. Thanks, um, Uncle Butter. That's right, Uncle Butter. Uh, Lando Butter is here. Uh, SoFi Investment just went live with IPO investing. Um, uh, do you ever cover upcoming IPOs or have considered it with retail having more chances to get them into them now? Avoid IPOs like the plague. Uh, uh, unless you can get the IPO at the issue, issue price, forget about it. Otherwise, uh, don't go after them after they list. Yeah, you like butter. Uh, Gaiotti, uh, how is suggesting other stocks along with GameStop a shill tactic that makes literally everyone a shill everywhere? That's exactly right. Uh, Le Lenora, oh, I have an extra thousand bucks um, of the remaining SPACs I have left to purchase. SVAC, FAII, FACQ, and, and uh, NS, uh, which would you be, would be my priority um, to uh, pick up 100 today? Uh, thank you, and no Yoko, by the way. <laughs> uh, Lenora, uh, you know, you got to decide for yourself what to do here. Uh, I can tell you that uh, FAII is having their shareholder vote uh, in six days. So that's next Tuesday, the shareholder vote for. Um, for Fortress to uh, be taken over by ATI Physiotherapy. And so that is the next one to become something else. Uh, uh, if you already have VGAC, that is tomorrow is their shareholder meeting. Uh, SoFi already did theirs you know, a week or two ago. So it's FAII of the group that is the next one to become. So it's up to you if you want to do it that way. It's the Creston Plums. That is the Fountain of Youth. There you go. What is the difference on American versus European derivatives? I don't know. I don't care. I'll buy and hold. I'm late. Did I miss uh, the rocket to the moon? Um, holding VGAC calls at 195 uh, expiry 2022, January 2020. $15 call. I hope I'm going to make some money on this. I think you will. I think you can make some nice money on this. Uh, I can then donate to Uncle B. That's even a smarter move. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, 100,000 a share is only $7 trillion. There's plenty of money for that. Buy and hold. Yes, we can come back. Call them for goddess charger. Uh, simple math. If retail doesn't sell, the price will go up. That That's true, too. I thought about that yesterday. All shorts must cover. Uh, two, uh, two new DFV tweets. Larry, buy and hold. Nope, they're just now collecting the tickets all aboard. Eat a bagel. Uh, uh, VJC is my vote. What would you say the most stressful stock situation that you had to handle back when you were going into the office way back when, oh, God, I had so many of them all the time, all the time. I mean, we had, we had um, oh, yeah, we, we you know, uh, you'd go in some days feeling like a million bucks, and then two hours into the market, oh, all hell would break loose on, a, on the bad side. And then there would be days you just dread going into the office. You have the greatest day of your career. <laughs> so you just never knew. You never knew. There was never the same day twice, never the same day twice. You could never tell 
what and how were things going to go, and you just had to kind of go in there and be level-headed and go, I'm here. I'm back for more. Let's see what it gives us. Um, but, I mean, I saw it all, man. I saw way more than I wanted to see. And, well, what can I say? I don't know what else to say. Uh, anyway, that's where it is. Um, we're talking about Mr. Cohen right now on CNBC. He has become the chairman of the company. They're saying that, and then they're probably going to slam him now about uh, – you know what's going on about them. Uh, anyway, their they're headquarters, GameStop headquarters, are showing a picture of GameStop headquarters on CNBC. How exciting is that? I can see G A M E with an S and then a tree in the way. Games, and they're showing the chart now. 301 a share. There it is. They're highlighting a 302, 303. There it is. 303 a share, uh, showing its you know whatever. And uh, then they're showing George Sherman, outgoing GameStop CEO. There he goes, uh, and that's all they're saying, uh, I guess. I don't know. Waiting for the quarterly results after the bell, and now they're going to yuck it up about how speculative it is and what a crappy company you guys have and how stupid retail investors are and dumb money people. And, you know, that's just a – what can I say? Hey, don't stir it up. Uh, don't stir up the chat, Bruce. Uncle Bruce, uh, can you do a non-member chats on Mondays during the pre-market? I miss those non-member chats. Yeah. Yeah, I let in all the trolls. Uh, that, that's all fun. That's just a good time. Uh, are all commentators in here having a stroke? Um, this channel started as a Yoko fan channel, but we converted him to stocks. <laughs> oh, damn it, Bruce. I love you, Bruce. Uh, you make the day go so much better, and I'm making money. Uh, now there you now you're talking. Uh, you all got the right right attitude here. Gore's Holdings has taken a shot. It's going up 46 cents to 15.84. It's it's the only one. Uh, I mean, GameStop is still up a dollar seventy-seven to three hundred one. But well, what can I say? Um, GameStop to report quarter results after the bell, and Josh is talking now about them, and uh, Mike Santoli is talking about them now, and you know these guys are are just they're just I don't know what they're saying because I've got I've got everything muted, so you have to listen to it yourself. Uh, but uh, you know we'll see what's going on. They're talking about the dedicated retail investors who just won't shake it, can't be shaken out of the stock. Uh, anyway, Yoko with Briss, uh, thank you. Uh, they may give us one last dip in the morning. Uh, he lifted a cheek. Um, calm down, ladies and, and internet tough guys. Uh, he doesn't need you to defend him from jokes. Uh, okay. Um, Bruce, is there a particular date you would buy an option for in order to forecast a stock movement? Seems like a great signal to pick up more stock. Um, no, no, I can't do that. 1,000 thumbs in the money. Uh, Doug? Uh, I was wondering why the volatility was lower on European calls. I, I don't care. I I I, uh, I lift, lift. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, short ladder attacks much? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, uh, yeah. Every time they short SoFi, they strengthen my resolve. Twenty-two forty-nine down a buck forty on that one. Uh, Gore's fifteen eighty-eight of fifty cents. Uh, that is uh, eight cents from the high of the day. Fifteen ninety-three now. Three cents from the high of the day. Gores is running. I mean, look at this chart on Gores. Look at this. Look at this. This is this morning. And then during the day, look at down here. It got down here to, uh, what was that, 1498 was the low trade of the day right there. Right? And now look at it. Look at it over here. Look at this. Look at this. 1594 up 56 cents. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Gores, uh, something's happening on Gores. Uh, we kind of know, we know what. We just don't know when. Uh, we're hoping that this is about to be revealed. Uh, well, well, we'll find out. Uh, we're here, um, and we're here, and I'm, well, we're here. Uh, roach on a tree. Uh, if practice makes perfect and perfect needs practice, Bruce must be perfectly practiced and practically perfect. Uh, did I say that right? I think I did. Uh, Doug, Uncle Bruce, don't European options uh, expire at the end of the week, but I don't care. I don't, I'm not going to talk about European options anymore. Make it happen. GameStop will be streaming the earnings call on their YouTube channel. Uh, and then William says, I've been feeling the weather. I've been feeling under the weather. The kids brought home the daycare crud. Just stopping by to give Uncle Bruce a thumbs up. Thank you, William. You're a god. Uh, Robert, could Yoko crash the entire market? Looks like it's time to take Yoko off the turntable, Bruce. Uh, we don't need her on the turntable. You don't need to threaten us. Uh, the only way that, that Yoko stays on there now is if people pay me to play her. But otherwise, she's coming off the there. There's no need to have her there. Can the call contract I wrote be exercised after the market? If GameStop rips up to 360 plus, um, I can, so the, 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 okay, so let's say this is Friday. It's not, but let's say it was. Uh, and your stock is at 297, and that's where it is. And uh, you got a 360 call, and the market closes, and then the aftermarket starts, and it goes to 380 bucks a share. 
can you be exercised? Uh, I think no. I think no, because I think the the broker has to intent make the intent known, the client to the broker to the CME uh, during market hours on up until Friday night close, I think. So that's what I think it is. Uh, anyway, there you go, my guess. Because I guess if you wrote, you know, let's say you wrote a 320 and it went to 360 in the aftermarket. Um, the option holder at 320 would love to exercise your contract at 320 knowing that it's trading at 360, right? Uh, but if they only had until the bell uh, on Friday night to exercise, game over. If, if it was under 320 a share at that point, there was no value in the contract. They can't exercise it after the bell because the expire the expiry of the contract. A contract's a contract. So I, I think no. All right. That's what I'm guessing. Uh 2258 on SoFi down a dollar thirty. It was as low as twenty two twenty three. It's now twenty two fifty nine. So it's come back twenty six cents. I wouldn't get excited about it. Nine million shares traded on SoFi. Still a buck thirty gain from yesterday's two sixty total gain. So there you have it. Okay. Um let's see. Um what else is going on here? Uh, welcome one, welcome all. Uh, and uh, I keep adding SoFi calls. Uh, and why not? Uh, when these are down here, the shares are down here, you do that. Back to 300 on GameStop. Uh, we are two minutes from the bell. And let's see what happens at the bell. Uh, how many outstanding shares does SoFi have? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 800 something million, something like that. Uh, they did that takeover and then they, uh, you know, they did all that stuff. And uh, anyway, it's out there. Uh, short interest, 30% on IPOE uh, before it became SoFi. Um, let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Wall Street Journal today, more solar panels. More solar panel plants being built in the U.S., huge chip plants, battery plants, and on and on. Buckle up. It's going to get busy. Uh, gobbled up two more, Jan. 1750 calls on VGAC. Dips are yummy. Right on. Good job. Uh, excellent move. Uh, can't wait to see what Ryan is hiding. He said he didn't want to show his hand yet to shareholders meeting. Uh, Uncle Bruce, uh, we're at 300 a share. Uncle Bruce, I own 50 call contracts on VGAC, and this wacky price manipulation is starting to scare me. If it doesn't go through for some reason, I'm screwed. Tell me it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Uh, you're going to be fine. Mr. E, good luck crossing my finger. It's going to be okay. Uh, we're closing right now. We're getting ready to close. 50 seconds, five zero seconds, and then we're going to find out what the uh, GameStop earnings are uh, probably in the first – I hope 5 or 10, 20 minutes after the close. We'll wait. 300 on the stock, 299.80 on the stock. It's up 21 cents. So it's kind of flatlining here. It got up to two, uh, 328 uh, after it was a low of 291 today. Got to 328 and now it's closing right around the $300 mark. It'll be virtually unchanged. And that is what's going on. Um, Uncle, uh, Uncle Bruce SoFi calls for 122 at $50. What do you think? No, no, no. Uh, since I've joined you, I've tripled my retirement fund. God bless. Nicely done. Uh, keep it going, you guys. Uh, VGAC, $15 call, a 121.22, buck 85. Is that a good deal? $15 call for January 22. Uh, it's an investment. Go ahead. Make make your make your shot. Take your shot. 1016 on VGAC, 1587 on Gores, 2271 on Yo on 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 SoFi. And we're closed on the New York Stock Exchange. 301, 300 a share on uh, GameStop. Looks like that's what we got on the GameStop, about $300 a share at the bell, if I am correct. Um, 301.33, uh, 301.32, 301.32 is what I have. Aftermarket, 302.71 uh, so far on GameStop, but that will jump a boot. Oot and a boot, as we like to say in Canada. We're waiting for GameStop's after our earnings release. And we're going to see what happens with that. Uh, I'm showing it now, uh, jumping around here a little bit on the aftermarket. 301.72, 301.32. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, let's find out um, what else is going on. What else is going on? Um, attack on GameStop right now. Uh, somebody want GameStop at 300. Um, let's see. And welcome one, welcome all. Uh, uh, Uncle Bruce, I, 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 sorry, Uncle Bruce, I want to listen to you, but I'm so distracted knowing that Yoko is still loaded up on the turntable behind you. I can't concentrate, please. Uh, positive day. I just bought five calls on VGAC uh, uh, fives uh, for January at $60 each. That's like 45 cents premium. Is that right? I bought five calls on VGAC um, and um, at 560 each. So, I, oh, you bought $5 calls. 
uh, for five sixty a piece, and so you're pay paying a premium of actually. I get it. Okay, okay. VGAC closed at uh, ten uh, sixteen, so there's sixteen cents in five sixteen in the money, forty four cent premium. You are correct. You are paying a forty four cent time premium for those calls. Now you paid five sixty to get them. Okay. Um, which is $560 per 100, right? So five times that, right? But if you'd have bought 500 shares, it would run you uh, double this money, right? It would run you 5,000 and something dollars. So, you know, you're, you're paying book value for the calls, but you still got, I'm, I'm telling you, you got two for one premium. You're okay. I mean, you're fine. You're absolutely fine with this move. Uh, you've got two to one premium uh, leverage on your money. Right, you put twenty five hundred bucks in there, twenty eight hundred actually, twenty eight hundred dollars, and you now control five hundred shares with twenty eight hundred bucks. Okay, right, right on. Uh, uh, with twenty eight hundred dollars, you could have only bought uh, two hundred eighty shares, if that, maybe two hundred fifty shares. So yes, okay, got it. All right, three oh four on GameStop in the aftermarket right now is what I'm looking at. Uh, three oh four on GameStop in the aftermarket. Haven't heard a word yet. We're waiting for a release to find out when the uh, uh, release comes out, earnings comes out. Okay, that's what's going on. Okay, 305 says Nelson. Threatening Yoko for likes is equivalent to a terrorist attack. Uh, Bruce, are you going to skim the earnings like you did uh, like you did the last report live? Are you going to are you going to skim the earnings? Are you going to skim the earnings like the last? Oh, we'll see what happens. If you leave the Yoko record sitting on the Beatles album, does it automatically make the Beatles record break up? There's no other album on that turntable. I, I, took, I took everything else off of there. I didn't want anything to get infected. 305 on GameStop in the aftermarket right now. Uh, ooh, we're learning. Colin, that's deep. Uh, thank you, Uncle B. Um, uh, 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 why are there no after hours market for options? I lost out on so much yesterday because of that. Yeah, they don't trade in the after hours. Uh, Bruce, threaten the stock market uh, with Yoko. That'll get their attention. That'll wake them up. 30760 on the aftermarket for GameStop. That is what we have. 30760. For uh, the aftermarket on GameStop, uh, personally, I would I would take Yoko over the Macarena. Uh, am I the only one though? Um, DQ, Colin, or does a Julian Lennon album appear? You know, if you put one in the other, does that does it? Um, that's what he she she said. Uh, okay. Um, oh my gosh. Um, Three hundred seven sixty one on the aftermarket. Fourteen thousand shares traded so far. No earnings that I'm aware of. Uh, nothing that I'm aware of yet. We're waiting for the release, waiting, watching, wondering, and keeping an eye on things. Uh, waiting, wondering when this happens. Uh, okay. All right. Ah, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ah. Mm, Michael, how dare you? The Macarena. Uh, Michael's laughing. Uh, yeah, waiting for GameStop. Gaining, waiting, waiting on GameStop. Earnings alert. A waiting GameStop. So I think the, the this is Josh. I, I think we can't really say that all of the inflation will be transitory. It's 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 not realistic. You can't give people an increase. They're talking about inflation concerns. Uh, we're waiting for GameStop to make an announcement on their earnings. Uh, the aftermarket right now three eighteen a share. Uh, 318. All right, buckle up. 313, 313. Oh, God, short attack, sweet baby lord. What do we do? 309, 317, 317, 318. Andrew Port, new member. How you doing, buddy? Earnings not out till 4 30 Eastern time. So, uh, we're waiting. 314, 318 on the stock, jumping around like you cannot believe. Andrew, how you doing, buddy? Thank you for becoming a member of this uh, channel, joining us here as we, uh, you know, waiting for what's happening to see what's going on with GameStop here. Uh, the stock is uh, is uh, been jumping around a lot here. Uh, not till four thirty. Matt uh, named CEO. Matt Furlong named CEO. Uh, crazy movement. Oh, a short attack. I'm so scared. Hope you guy didn't sell on GameStop. Inflation is invisible tax. Welcome Andrew. Andrew, welcome to the Nuthouse. Um, um, uh, Matt Furlong is named CEO. Anybody have any clue on who that is? Uh, can anyone gives me a heads up on Matt Furlong? Um, Anyone know anything? Um, okay, we're watching. We're late waiting. I see nothing. Uh, welcome to all the new members. A dear eight pound six ounce baby Jesus. Let us go to three hundred fifty dollars a share. Uh, now at two ninety nine uh, a share. The stock's now two ninety nine. So it's a jump. And new CEO announced. Yoko shorted GameStop. One day you will have to Blue Angel. 
A blue bagel, don't you worry. 317 to 306 in a second. Inflation is FUD. Andrew, welcome. Load up. Uh, 298, 302, 303. Uh, it's jumping back up again. Um, 303.40 is what we've got on 43,000 shares. 301 now, 304 now. Uh, Matt Furlong, a director at Amazon's North American Operations, is the CEO of GameStop. Uh, interesting. Uh, laughing all the call. CEO announced Matt Furlong was Amazon Australia. Former Mr. Furlong is a veteran e-commerce leader with significant experience implementing growth strategies across global geographies and product categories, says Colin. Mr. Furlong is a veteran. Here we go. I think he's Amazon Web Services MD from Australia and New Zealand. Uh, you will get whiplash trying to see the current price on GameStop. 312 now on GameStop. Matt Furlong. Most recently was country leader uh, and oversaw Amazon's Australian business during a period of substantial growth. Mr. Furlong began his career at Procter & Gamble, where he was an executive focused on brand, marketing, and sales strategies. New CEO from Amazon. It's aftermarket, guys. It's volatile. Take a seat. Put on your seatbelt. Hang on. Uh, I was technically, previously a technical advisor to the head of Amazon's North America consumer business. Woohoo! Matt Furlong, CEO, um, and Mike uh, Recupero, CFO, both from Amazon. They are stealing Amazon staff to take over and run e-commerce at GameStop. 306, 307 a share. Nearly his nine years at Amazon, he also ran a variety of product categories and oversaw strong market share expansion. Sweet, says Colin. Mr. Furlong Bain, his career at Procter & Gamble. He was an executive focused on brand marketing and sales strategies. Here we go. Wow, that's good CEO. That is a good CEO. I like the sound of this guy. The kind of guy we were hoping they would get as a, a, a e-commerce kind of person. Um, Amazon, you can't get any more e-commerce than that. Now the question is the earnings. Uh, here we go right here. Uh, they're talking about yeah, it over here. They're so much that Mike. Brilliant, right? Worth, worth another couple of percent. A couple, another couple of percent. Um, I do think it's actually it's a, a relatively it's, calm move. You would have expected it's a 300 bucks. I mean, it's, they're talking it's about it. They've already had uh, this massive move. Uh, you know, the inside people, 312, 300, insiders at GameStop sold in January in like the 20s and the 30s because they thought, wow, what a windfall. Um, so this just shows you how far it's come. Yeah, it's great that you want to have some, some good e commerce lines on top of this. Somebody should take a look at the numbers. GameStop this year. You can do five and a half, six billion dollars of revenue. Maybe sixty percent of that is in the physical stores. A ton of it is is is, re is relying on hardware and accessories. In other words, where is this massive renaissance of revenue in digital gaming or e-commerce going to come from? From what competitors? Um, you know, uh, Activision, EA, and Take Two combined have like twenty-one billion in revenue. Where are we gonna gonna Hoover up this stuff from Twitch and Amazon, from Microsoft? In other words, I'd be interested at in the path they even envision here. There you go. 294 on the stock, 288 on the stock. I don't know what quote to believe anymore. Um, 289.60 on the stock. Uh, it's jumping all over the place. Uh, we're going to have to see what happens. Wow. Boom. Fasten your belts. Buckle up. The numbers aren't out yet. We just got the CEO announcement. Uh, Furlough was Yoko Singhi teacher. A Reddit going to be pissed about this one. He most recently served as chief financial officer. Uh, where am I? For a North American consumer business after serving as chief financial officer of Prime Video. Uh, Colin, let's talk about somebody here. This is a very good news. Vernon, where do you read this? As CFO comes from Amazon, former CFO of Prime Video. It's two eighty nine eighty eight on the stock, down $11. Colin, uh, he previously served as Chief Executive Officer of European Consumer Business, he began his career at Amazon. Uh, let's see, going to be a fun week. Hello, all, Bruce. Uh, Andrew Port, on any given option for stocks, are you interested in at what point do you consider the premium for a call, a call, long call beyond what the option is worth? Well, a question of how much time is left on it, how far out of the money you are. These are considerations. Can't answer that question in 30 seconds. That takes a bit of analysis. Hold GameStop for five years. You have a multiple split stock and then 3,000 a share. Laugh out loud. This is good news. The stock's probably going to go down. 281, you're right. Uh, these appointments reflect the refresh board's focus on building a technology company and investing in growth. Kelly Ryan Lake is a new member. Welcome to the show. Wow, new CEO sounds like a great pick. 314 to 298. Uh, welcome, Kelly. Buckle up, Buttercups. Remember, we closed at 300 on the day. We're at 282 right now. Uh, 282, 284, 283 uh, running again. 286 going up again. 
288. Welcome, Matt. Um, new CEO starts June 21. That's in yeah, 12 days. Uh, buckle up. Welcome, Kelly. I'm saving all my copper so I can uh, buy more GameStop. Okay. Um, GameStop reportedly quarterly losses 45 cents a share, which beat the analyst consensus of uh, by 83 cents. We're waiting to see if this is out. Numbers are out, crushing it now. Waiting to see uh, results. Uh, yep, they're out. The results are out. Here we go. Um, I think I just screwed myself on my television. Of course I did, and now I don't know how to get it back. Or did I? I don't know what I'm doing. Jen, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know. Don't know. It, it's, it's gone. Um, can you make the TV work? 284 on the stock, 292 on the stock. Uh, let's see what the numbers are going to be like. Uh, let me take a look over here. Is there any announcements anywhere else? Uh, let's go here. So, still nothing. Uh, I hit a button. I don't know what I did. Um, am I on the wrong? I don't know what I did. I must have done something. Um, gross margin was 25.9, a decline of 180 basis points compared to the fiscal 2020 first quarter. Uh, I've been watching for a while. I love it. GameStop 180 recently. Blah, blah, blah. I think it'll bounce back. Um, it's uh, 288 a share. Uh, they're talking about it again. Not sharing anything with the media, and and they're not. I mean, this is they're their talking. own strategy than what AMC has taken. Sure. That was CEO Matt oh, Marin going directly on YouTube. Jen, to help him. These retail traders. <laughs> Erwin Simon yesterday saying yes. what we welcome this new class of traders, and and the fear in the beginning, Mike, was that. People are going to lose so much money. They're going to lose their shirts, and they're going to be disenchanted with the markets, and this is going to be bad for society. Is that yeah. still the thinking? I mean, you don't want anybody to lose money, but someone's going to lose money. Because why? Because most people are engaging in this by overpaying for call That's options that expire in a week, and it's just a zero-sum game when it comes to we that type of thing. Yeah. But no, I think it's fine. If people recognize that they are... You know, putting their money behind something that seems like maybe a long shot or reclamation project. I understand why AMC did what it did. It was an existential. All right. Net sales increased 25.1% to $1.2 billion compared to $1 billion in the first fiscal first quarter, uh, overcoming nearly a 12% reduction in the number of stores, up 25% in net sales. Company's global store uh, uh, store base due to strategic the the, 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 the Densification efforts and continued store closures across Europe due to COVID-19. Um, what can I say? We're at 294 and coming on again. Uh, coming on again. Please don't give Bruce that remote. Uh, don't let him touch the remote because you know he can't do it. Um, and um, um, gonna, the games are continuing to suspend guidance at this time. However, please, total net sales is the most appropriate metric to evaluate performance at this time. The company's second quarter sales trends continue to reflect momentum, with May total sales increasing approximately 27% versus last year. Um, we're now at 294.58, coming back on now that the numbers are out. Um, let's see. A uh, bad for society. What a stupid comment. I agree. Uh, it's so irresponsible. Like this is this stock is the worst thing to happen to the world's existence. Unbelievable. Uh, just unbelievable. These folks are so biased against this company. It's unbelievable. These guys have no debt. A billion in the bank. They they're 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 barely you know they're turning it around. They're becoming an e-commerce company, stealing top staff from other successful companies, and they're the worst thing to happen to society. I mean, geez, give me a break. Um, what can I tell you? Uh, here we go. GameStop says it intends to file a prospectus settlement, a supplement to base prospectus, include an S3 under which the company may offer and sell up to five million shares and at the market offerings. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to hear. I want to hear that they might issue 5 million more shares. That would be beautiful. Another one to one and a half billion in cash in the bank. A really good idea. They beat by 45%. Gross margin, 25.9, a decline of 180. Uh, uh, Bruce, I like you, but I don't trust you. Put down that remote. Um, one, bought in more than expected, spent less than expected, stonks, tanks anyway. 293.99, 296.46. Looks like it's going on. Uh, thank God Jen is in charge of that television show. Jen will be in charge of the class editing too, so don't worry, I won't be able to blow it. 297, the stock is coming back up again. Uh, it's coming back up again. 300 on the stock. 300 on the stock now. 301 
The stock is moving up again. Get ready, kids. Put on your seatbelt. As of May, uh, the company has 770 million in cash and restricted cash compared to 583 million in restricted cash last year and 200 plus billion in, million in debt. The company had no borrowing under its asset base, revolving credit facility, and no long, no long term debt. We just hold some longs and we are the bad guys laughing out loud. Laughing out loud. I love this. I was banking on the dip below 300 to get back in. 30225, 30250 on the stock. This stock literally made me overcome a lifetime of stock market pessimism and finally engage in the markets. Uh, the sky is falling. Ah, uh, yeah, all right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, hide your children. GameStop is trying to make money. Uh, Ryan Cohen did tell us to buckle up earlier today. GameStop CEO, CFO will be Amazon veterans if what I read was correct. Buckle up, kids. One of my girlfriends walked in and asked why I have Uncle Bruce on four television sets. I sent her packing. Ah, uh, why do they even bother to short it? Just give up already. 307 on the stock. 308 on the stock now. It's going higher. Another billion dollars can buy lots of cloud storage for built up e commerce. Income tax expense is 1.3 million compared to income tax expense of 50 million at the end of 2020. Um, let's see here. Uh, 302, 304, 304 right now. We are uh, looking good. 305. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on GameStop numbers? I like what I see. I like it. Um, curious. 308, 308. Uh, what else? We're going higher. Let's go. Um, we are running along. 305 uh, on the stock. 306. Volume of 273,000 post market. And uh, we're going to see how this plays itself out. Um, perhaps the anal an analysts on CMC use their smartphones to make phone calls. So last century. Um, I'm so jacked with this CEO announcement. We like the stock. Um, I wish they would do a split. I have dry powder ready. This is crazy. Uh, choo choo. Uh, I love what I see. Uh, Bruce, deep breath. Real quick. Not many uh, going hands going to be selling with news like this. 304.50 right now. I tell you right now, your company is doing better than it was last year. It's doing better than all analysts have predicted. They're hiring senior staff from Amazon to run this thing. Um, no debt. Uh, why? Why? How can you be worse off than you were half an hour ago? You're better off than you were half an hour ago. Every retail investor on the planet is a believer in Cohen and the gang, and the gang is they're delivering already. Uh, they're already delivering. Uh, I don't know why the stock uh, has to back off. If you believe in the future of the company, the stock is going to go higher. Simple as that. Because. Uh, the shorters cannot get these people to, you can't scare them out. You can't scare them out. What can I say? 301 again, uh, 301, 303, jumping around like crazy. Uh, what expect rate firm exit is early in the year? What time? What times I'm reading start uh, in, uh, what is it, uh, 5 o'clock? Another 40 minutes, I guess. Uh, shorters failed now, trying to get a short momentum swing. Will you stream their earnings call? No, I will not. Uh, you're on your own. Uh, I'll review it tomorrow, though. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Diamond Hands, Anti. I love the adrenaline from this chart. Um, they're way better. And with new CEO, shortly better. Yeah, uh, they are doing their best to keep our rockets from launching. Uncle Bruce, please whisper. Damn it, whisper. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Uncle Bruce, I gave you a like. Uh, thank you. Um, I love you, Bako family. Uh, I get lots of, uh, I'm not sure what that means. Um, uh, never in my entire three weeks of trading have I ever seen anything like this. In my three entire weeks of trading, Matt Burrell, CEO, you say. Um, um, Tony, uh, you probably have one more share than I do. Uh, let's see. Here we are. Uh, they have announced both CEO and CFO, both Amazon alums. Uh, Matt Furlong, who oversaw Amazon's Australia business, starts a CEO, Mike, who is Amazon's chief financial officer of NA uh, Bagels Forever. Uh, let's see. Bad for society. Yeah, that, that that did that anchor walk walk in on their son smoking a joint, and yoloing five thousand into GameStop on a smartphone? Is it, it, it's that dang GameStop and the rap music videos? That is the dang thing of the the damn thing about the society today. It's unbelievable. It just it's just so ridiculous. Like GameStop is the problem of everything. Unbelievable. Uh, just just so pathetic. Really, really pathetic. 303 on the stock, jumping around like crazy on the aftermarket. 363,000 shares traded. Uh, I don't think this is bad news. Uh, that last comment was supposed to be the text I meant to send. Got confused when I was typing. Um, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. 
let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I hate it when I get focused on work when uh, on work miss when Bruce replies to my question. <laughs> Who said bad for society? The anchor on CNBC, she said it was bad. It could be bad for society, the way GameStop trades. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, uh, Uncle Bruce, I just wrote four more January 22 GameStop covered calls for $78. What say you? Uh, what price did you get? Uh, what what exercise price uh, did you write? I'm guessing 78s would be what, five or 600s? They're, they're up there. Uh, let's see. Um, more than 50. Uh, I'm only, what else? What's going on here? Um, did they announce how many ballots were received? I don't know. That I don't know. I'm wondering if that'll be covered. Um, Let's see what's going on here. Um, ba, 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 ba. Uh, I stubbed my toe earlier. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. You know, they should name Abe Froman to the board as a goof. That would have gotten headlines. Um, yep. Um, nothing. None of this is surprising. Social media has changed everything. We now have the ability to help save a company. Investing is a new way to have a voice in society. Can I say we're back to 293, though? Uh, we're back under again. Um, let's go. Um, thanks, GameStop. Uh, imagine panicking being late at 106 a share. Um, let's see. Uh, I can't wait to see what Ryan is hiding. He said he didn't want to show his hand yet in the shareholders meeting. Um, and I'm too scared and broke to write a call on GameStop. Um, let's go. 290, 298 now. 298. Unbelievable. They're trying to dump it again. Oh, my God. Think of all the memes we can change from thanks, Obama, to thanks, GameStop. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, why not start our own hedge fund? Uh, let's go. 400,000 volume now on the aftermarket. 432 on the aftermarket. 2, 293. Heavy-duty volume here on the aftermarket. No question about it. Um, and uh, let's see if I got uh, so far. Where is it at? 2275 up 4 cents on the aftermarket. Okay. 294 right now. Uh, GameStop uh, 10Q out shows section uh, voluntary production of docs, info requests related to SEC probe, training activity shared, blah, 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 request of intense cooperate. No idea. Income tax expense was 1.3 million compared to income tax expense of 50 million. Uh, wow, that's super interesting. Um, what do you think about interesting? What do you think about him issuing more stock? I love it. Love it. I love the idea of issuing stock. Um, do a three hundred dollar offering uh, for one point five billion more? Yeah, I really like this idea. I like it. The Sausage King of Chicago. We should get him on the board. Yes. Uh, what can I say? Uh, is aftermarket insane? Is this totally normal? Uh, have you ever seen this before? This is not necessarily normal. Uh, this is uh, what I I think on on Young Frankenstein they have a jar called AB Normal. A A B Normal. This is A B Normal. Yeah. Um, I want Bruce as CEO. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Um, mm -mm, Uncle Bruce, can you explain what it means could happen with GameStop because they're saying they are more stock boats than actual stock? How does that play out? Uh, Dave, I don't know how this is going to play out. I, I just wonder about how uh, uh, the number the number of votes cast versus the number officially counted as short uh, versus the number of outstanding. So if there's 70, out, 70 million out, 11 million shorted, there can only be 81 million votes, theory, or theoretically. What happened if there were 150 million votes? W what, what does that mean, right? Showing you how outgunned this thing is. I wonder what's going on. Uh, Anyway, uh, thank you. Hey, Uncle Bruce's membership, good. It's always good. Um, let's see. I agree. Bruce for CEO. Uh, AB normal? Yeah, AB normal. Uh, <laughs> uh, what would more stock do to the price? Could make it go up. More stock issued at these levels, fattening up the bank account of this company to the $2 billion plus dollar mark. Um, putting them on the war path for maybe an acquisition or two, of, which would bring in cash flow and earnings higher. Higher, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, we need Bruce for CBO, Chief Bagel Officer. There you go. Um, 191,000 people online right now on Super Stonk. It's going to get more wild in time to come. Go visit apes. Uh, we own the float. Um, uh, let's see. Um, what else is going on? Uh, hey, Uncle Bruce, I picked up 10... 17 December 21 VGAC $15 calls for a buck 60. I'm feeling like I might have overpaid. The Januarys were 180. Uh, you know, uh, when it when the stock goes to 40 bucks a share, you're not going to care. I mean, when you're sitting on $27 calls, 
uh, ten times. Uh, you have twenty-seven thousand uh, bucks for sixteen hundred dollars. Are you gonna care? I mean, really? You're not gonna care. You're gonna be fine. Uh, Uncle Bruce is my membership. Okay, I enrolled last week. Uh, well, you're here, uh, and I love it. Um, can, uh, th then GameStop will call a private company to audit. SEC and DTC will have to answer. I, I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, Matt, a bio on LinkedIn served as a country leader overseeing Amazon's Australia business during a period of substantial growth. Uh, Bruce, that's what's the craziest thing besides GameStop you've seen on the stock market with your years of experience? Too many things, my friend. Too many things. I don't have time to get into it right now. Um, let's see. Um, mm, 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 we're at 289.90. What can I say? Um, views are up on live streams, but your subscriber count keeps going down. It's true. It's true. We're, we're down to 99,000 now. Um, the, 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 the members are growing and uh and uh, uh the views are growing on these shows that that's growing uh but the sub count keeps going down uh it's it's quirky i i think you know there were tens of thousands of amc fanatics uh who joined me because think th thinking that i was an amc promoter and now they're realizing oh he's not promoting it he he talks about it but he he talks about it like other analysts talk about it but he doesn't promote it like we want him to maybe that's why they're unsubscribing how much are your classes going to be Fifteen thousand dollars a minute, um, cash up front. Um, it's going to be really expensive. You, you, if you're at, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Um, Fanwell, Mark, Blue Skies. Yes, we do. Jack to the Jack to the. You know what? James, uh, say stocks go uh, Thank you for this donation. That's nice. Build a bank. Where's our paycheck payback? I want my dividend or stock split before this happens. Not cool. Feed your shareholders. Uh, Visceral, why would chief executives ditch Amazon gigs for a failing brick and mortar startup financial world? Nothing to see here. That's right. Why would these guys quit Amazon with these cushy jobs they've got? They're all. They're, I'm sure these guys are being paid two to four hundred thousand a year. Why would you quit a job like that to go to GameStop in uh, in Grapevine, Texas? What is it about that company that attracts these kinds of people? By issuing more stocks, they actually sell some of theirs. Uh, our own stocks remain the same while they multiply. They'll sell stock from the treasury. Remember, this company purchased stock with its own money two years ago. GameStop bought back 35 million of its own shares off the open market from people who didn't want it. And they paid an average of $5.19 for 35 million shares of GameStop. And they put those shares back in the treasury of the company. Now they're thinking, well, we issued three and a half million of those 35 million shares at 155 a share a little while ago. Uh, why, don't we, uh, why don't we issue 5 million more from time to time? We might do it in one shot, we might not. We're at 300 or so, 285, 300, 350 a share. Maybe we'll issue some up there. Bring in another one and a half billion dollars of fresh cash on top of the almost billion we got now, um, and uh, and then we'll you know we'll just expand the company out even further. Let's see what happens. Let's see what they say at five o'clock. Uh, it starts in thirty-one minutes. Uh, let's see what's going on. Could be a lot of fun. Um, wow, uh, earnings twice what they expected. Go game stuff. Bruce, you're being shorted. Uh, that's right. They're shorting Bruce. Diluting the stock is not going to help a stock like GameStop, which is looking to squeeze the hedges that have created thin synthetic shares. And no, 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 Sly, you're wrong. You're wrong, Sly. You're wrong. Five million shares won't make a lick of difference, won't make a dang bit of difference to the amount of stock floating around out there. It will make no difference. I tell you, they're going to sell that stock into a, a market. That'll take it, no problem. And uh, they'll just, no, no one will even notice the additional shares. But the money in the bank account will be a big difference. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like this idea. Um, we are smack dab in the middle of it all now. Won't stop. Can you explain the 8K filing? Uh, not at the moment. I haven't read it. Sorry, been away for a short while. Was losing my mind on the sideways trading after nearly four months and five hours a day watching Uncle Bruce and reading the super stock. No offense, Uncle Bruce. I love you dearly. Uh, welcome. Uh, Annie King, thank you for this donation. Dear Uncle B, covered call, close to expire date. If strike price uh, in the money... Uh, contract will be signed on to the buyer means uh, stock auto disappear, right? Yeah, stock go out, money come in. You be richer with more cash in bank, including the premium you already have. So you got your premium already. Now you're getting your, you're getting bought out, and you're getting all that cash is in your account now. Do whatever you want with it. It's all your money, and away we go. Rob, Uncle Bruce, um, hey, uh, I've written calls, I've bought and sold calls, 
I feel like I have a solid grasp on them. Can you go over the puts? Uh, join the class. Uh, laughing out loud. 15,000 a minute. I'm in. Uh, yes, 15,000 a minute. I'm in. It's going to be one hell of a class. I can I can miss my husband to buy VGAC. I'm really excited. Thank you, Uncle B. Way to go. Tony, I'd be barely diluting it in perspective of how many synth synthetics are out there. Exactly. The, 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 exactly right. Eddie, uh, Uncle Bruce, you are more of a stock market shrink, right? It works for me. Well, you know, it's all about psychology. Uh, the market is a psychological pressure cooker. That's what it is. Uh, 281.94. Uh, these stock prices and, and the way they move and, and how they move and, and, and the news that comes out and how the market interprets it, this is a psychological pressure cooker. And you've got to take it. You've got to learn to accept it. You have to uh, uh, learn to accept change, movement, and, and momentum. You have to let it happen. Good, bad, or nothing. 284 on game stuff. That's what you got to do. It's it's uh, it's not easy, but it's what you got to do. Can't afford it. I own GameStop laughing out loud. Bruce, you're shooting from the hip today. Hilarious. I love it. Um, Tobias, mother of Pompey, I convinced my wife. Um, Mackenzie, I work at Amazon and would quit to work at GameStop. I, I would quit to go there. How about that? AB, they probably get dozens, hundreds of Amazon shares a year if, they, if they're that high up. Uh, they probably do, but they, they leave. And to go to they go to GameStop instead. That's right. Wally's World uh, from back uh, back from the dogo walking uh, me. Uh, I'm back from walking my dog. My Jen tells me the cable company is on the way this afternoon. She shows up. There is a life size stuffed bear in the passenger seat. Uh, have they got to my Jen? Uh, what's going on here, Mother uh, Tobias? It feels good to win, doesn't it? Beach Boy uh, GameStop uh, uh, GameStop January 2022. Four covered call, six twenty strike, seventy eight dollar price. What do you think, Uncle Bruce? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's that's a good that's a good move. Uh, offering stock at six twenty, getting seventy eight bucks a share. Yeah, that's a good move. I like that. Uh, way to go, Beach Boy. Uh, Max, uh, laugh out loud. CNBC is just putting GameStop in front of a firing squad. That's all they do. Fair again. Is CNBC so busy selling commercials, no one has time to say so? The most important story of 2021, shouldn't we, shouldn't we be on that? Yeah, they, they're selling commercials, my friend. They're not a business network. They're an advertising seller. Uh, you got to get that through your head. Uh, and then they have these so-called experts on there. Some are good, some are terrible. Uh, 290 on GameStop now. James, say stocks go. A sly is technically right. They already sold $3.5 million. And we held. How many more times will this pay off? Fair question. I say they should sell 30 million shares. That's what I say. Get it up to 100 million outstanding because that gives you enough of a, a regular float of stock. Um, but bring in like $10 billion in cash doing it. So now you have like 11 billion lying around. And with 11 billion in, in cash at 100 million shares outstanding, every shareholder has $110 of, of cash in the company for every stock you'd have there's a there's 110 dollars in in the in the in the bank uh so that that funds the company up to a, a huge amount of money now uh take uh five billion or seven billion of that and start acquiring companies in the area you want to move into that are cash flowing and making money and use a combination of stock and cash to bring in 50 five zero billion of production of, of cash flowing company and take your company to a $150 billion market cap. 100 million in shares outstanding or so, 1,500 a share. If you issue another 20 million shares to buy these other assets like I was talking about, you still got a $1,200 stock. Anybody complaining about a $1,200 company? I, I don't I don't think so. Uh, and then you can grow from there. I mean, that's not like topping it out. That's growing it from there. Uh, yeah, raise cash, build this thing, let's go, take over, yeah, acquire, hoo-ha, I like it. Um, all righty, uh, new CFO, 17 plus years at Amazon. Five million shares, you mean the stock price will drop for a few bucks for five minutes and then back up and nobody notices, exactly. It, it won't make a dang bit of difference. Um, not lies, just only incredibly close-minded and pessimistic analysis. Bruce, there are folks who think they know more than you by regurgitating what to, what the... They see in the echo chamber, is that the Wall Street bets nowadays? I, I don't know. I mean, you know, everybody has their opinion. Some people think I'm right. Some people think I'm wrong. Others don't know who I am. Most people don't know who I am because uh, you don't give me enough thumbs ups. Uh, <laughs> the dress is blue. Uh, very good. Th uh, GameStop buys back $33 million at 5 bucks and now plans to sell $5 million at 300 Yep. 
yeah, that, are you getting it? Are you are you figuring it out? Uh, yeah, they're not issuing stock like they used to have 130 million, 105 million out. There used to be 105 million. There's only 70 now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, sell stock at 300 a share and raise a bunch of cash. Sell all of it at 300 a share and raise nine billion, nine billion in cash. Go ahead, go do it, do it, do it. Uh, the stock will go to 500 a share if they do that. The stock will go to 500. It'll go higher. Oh, gosh. It then do a 10 for 1 split. Start trading at 50. It'll go right to 100 a share. That's 1,000 a share. Who's upset? I mean, how can you be upset at that? I love it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Sean and Wendy, uh, GameStop has uh, got a volunteer to submit documents from SEC. GameStop says it should not affect the stock. Uh, God, I don't know what that means. Uh, Bruce, why don't you own any stock? Uh, which SPACs of your recommendations do you think I should buy with them? With what should I buy the most? When will I become a millionaire? And how much are your gl glasses? And can Jen come on camera? Um, and and when will the stocks go to the moon exactly? Right? And what happens if they don't do the merger? Uh, you know, and I've got options outstanding. Uh, I need I need the top ten questions that uh, that annoy me the most in one list. Bruce has never read one of my comments right first try. He's never done it right first try. Uh, Sean. Uh, thanks, Uncle Pete, for all you do to explain this in plain English. In plan English, uh, actually, ten billion in the bank. Bring it on, baby. Uh, make it happen. Oh, they do exactly that, but not down here. Uh, nubu, nubu, nobu, nubu, nobu, nobu. Uh, thank you for the donation. Um, hey, Uncle B, as someone who has a hundred shares of GameStop, I did expect a drop off today. It was just a normal day. Uh, there you have it. It's, it's just a normal day. Well, this is aftermarket. Uh, Two eighty one. Uh, right now, and again, there's uh, remember not a lot of buyers out there, not a lot of sellers out there. But we've traded 973,000 shares, almost a million in the aftermarket. In the aftermarket, it hasn't even been an hour, not even an hour. It's 38 minutes. Um, we're gonna hear from uh, we're gonna hear from uh, uh, Mr. Cohen, I hope, in the near short term. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have me a tums right now. I'm so excited. I got my gases going. I got my stomach acids going. I'm just so stumped up. Stoke. That, that was easy. That was easy. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you for following me. Uh, let's try and get richer. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if we can get richer. Okay. Mm. Okay, three separate AK filings. GameStop just were posted. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. 288 right now. 280, 280 right now. 280 a share. Okay. Do you walk to work or bring your lunch? <laughs> Uncle Bruce, we know who you are. A bagel-loving, cruise-taking, Costco ice cream-loving man who is married to Jennifer Aniston's look-alike. Man, have you got me figured out? Um, make it happen. Watch the uh, watch on the YouTube channel so we can show the world those watching numbers. Uh, I expect you to keep us updated, so I needn't check myself. Laughing my ass off at Bruce. Could Matt or Furlow's eyes be described as dreamy, um, <laughs> Mister Bobby? Uh, Five point five million was sold over the last few days. Last week by the hedge funder, it will be a drop in the bucket. Uh, Colin, there's some uh, fun string quartet music playing currently right now. Um, Uncle Bruce, don't die on me. Uh, we we will cruise the world together. Um, Tobias, the earnings call will just be more bad news. Um, Nicholas, I think I need to create another YouTube account to subscribe to Bruce twice. Robert, uh, VGAC, 12 and a half strike price for tomorrow. Uh, five, five sell calls, a good move. Uh, I'm, I'm just try, something's just trying to make me angry. Uh, Waverly, uh, Uncle Bruce, does a company splitting shares and selling stock and selling back stock go hand in hand in any sort of way or are these just two common ways for a company to continue stock growth money power i don't know i mean companies buy back stock often um and that's one way to reverse engineer earnings you uh you, every quarter you make your announcement how much money you're making and you're dividing with the profits into fewer numbers of shares which means there's more earnings per share because there's fewer shares to divvy it up to that's called reverse engineering um uh, or you know or engineering earnings i guess stock splits are another matter uh when they get too high in price you do the split to get to get more activity more volume 
on the stock and and get more more ad, you know get more exposure for your company. Um, that's another game you play. Uncle Bruce reads slowly. GS just announced they got a notice from the SEC to submit documents. It was a volunteer request, which they will do maybe in the AM to to can call and tell us about it. Um, okay, I'm sure they'll be happy to re they'll de deliver whatever you want. Two seventy nine. I doubt this is a problem. Um, it's Claude classical, classical educational music says uh, Colin. Okay. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, YouTube just started streaming. Okay, um, great. Uh, Two eighty a share, uh, and uh, remember, you guys. A lot of you ask me. A lot of you guys ask me all the time, and you used to ask me this when you first joined me. Uh, hey, uh, I've noticed that there's a law firm uh, conducting an investigation into this company or that company. Is this a problem for the stock? And then I would tell you that. Uh, these law firms are buying these announcements with their own money to post them and that they are using these so-called clickbait headlines that they are investigating a company that they're, they're doing nothing. They're, they're trying to promote their law practice for exposure. Uh, so when you read stuff about there's an SEC investigation going on or they're, they're looking into the documentation of something or the company has been asked to submit documentation. This happens all the time. This this is 101 public company crap, and I wouldn't even worry about it. It's 276 on the stock. Would not even concern myself about any of this. I need to go sell my 1978 Vega to get more funds to buy the dip. I love the classical music playing in the wait. Uh, you know when I'm waiting on a call. The long and short hedges are battling in the post market. The synthetic share confirmation from today plus CEO CFO should be enough of a catalyst. Time for the SEC to margin call these idiots. Uh, Baroque was a period, you know, that was a period. 273 on the stock, uh, down 28.94 from the close today. And uh, I was guessing the stock could go 50 bucks either way. Wasn't, wasn't I doing that? Uh, was that around, was that around 310 a share? I figured 260 to 360, wasn't that? Or is it what, 250 to 350? Was I saying that before we close? We could go 50 bucks all in the same day, uh, you know, either or or both. Uh, well, we're 272 right now. Uh, well, if that ain't broke, don't fix it, man. The uh, man, the jizzy music, the jazzy music, the jizzy music, the jazzy music earlier today was better than this crappy phone quality music. Maybe we should play Yoko. They should play some Yoko. Can someone say when it starts? I want to watch Bruce until it starts. Um, at two seventy-two, uh, five p.m., five p.m. Eastern. Uh, where where are my long whales? I've been uh, in a period of being baroque for quite some time. Um, uh, Bruce, can we ask for thumbs ups on GameStop channel for earnings call, please? Uh, Orion, Uncle Bruce, the best thing about GameStop is that if it drops, we'll buy it, and if it goes up, we'll also be happy. Your your members are already either way; they're happy either way. They they they're ready. Um, if there's a real terrible malfeasance during an uh, SPAC. They wouldn't need to advertise. The deal would have fallen apart or on its own. Some would have already pay, had their personal attorney. That's right. Uh, uh, Yoko, um, Colin, love that you got your own hair color back again, uh, uh, Colin. Way to go. Steven, yep, switched back to watch Uncle Bruce. Um, admitted, Colin, you would have preferred Yoko music. All, all they wanted, uh, the, 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 all, they wanted the AH print. That makes sense. After hours print. Uh, let's have some jizzy dong music out there. Uh, well, we just we should just play some Yoko. Uh, Ron, uh, 270, uh, 273 now on the stock. 273, uh, 271, 274. I mean, we are jumping all over the place here. 1.1 million shares traded on the aftermarket on GameStop. 272.50 right now on GameStop. If they if they had the chat on their stream, may, imagine how many Yoko requests they get. Imagine they're surprised trying to figure out why. <laughs> Are you going to listen to the phone call from GameStop with us? I, I'm really not sure if I have. I have nothing to say. This is rare. Uh, Uncle Bruce, what value per share do you put uh, GHVI and SoFi by the end of the year? A uh, thousand a share each uh, at least, Simon. Um, because if you're going to pay me 15000 a minute to listen to me talking about trading options on these guys, these have got to go to 1000 a share each to justify everything. I mean, got to be 273 on the stock. Uh, I don't, I, Simon, I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, play, play, play Sky people? Uh, Douglas, uh, Bruce, uh, GHVI has been moving up around 15 bucks. Do you think it may dip again, or is this it? Uh, it can dip, but I'm not saying it's going to, but it could. Getting jizzy with it. Uh, we're getting jizzy with it. Bruce, can you do the GameStop stream on your show? I can't. Um, uh, Bruce, you have abilities to make the stonk go up with a bagel. Uh, do you have something that will make it drop too? Uh, two seventy four ninety eight. I, I don't know. Play some Yoko music. Yo, Bruce. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, more like one point one million more shares shorted in the aftermarket, trading at one point two million right now. Two seventy five last trade. Dan Hammer. You can always donate your weight out of silence. Um, Rob, I hope it keeps going lower so I can buy back my five hundred dollar call for cheap tomorrow, and then I'll rewrite it later. Dan, Bruce said he doesn't want me to donate until we get to $400. Um, <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Blue Skies, short attack, yawn, Dan Hammer, totally. Uh, oh, new noises, nothing new happened, though. No. Uh, thanks, Bruce. Uh, okay, Doug, 275, 273, 274. Uh, late bagel, bring it. Mr. E, uh, can this be a short attack in the aftermarket? Uh, can hedge funds trade in the aftermarket? They can trade anytime they want, anywhere they want, any way they want. Uh, Bruce, can my bank account keeps going up and down throughout my life. Can you tell me if it'll be up or down when I meet my maker? Uh, boy, I, I don't know. I'll tell you, I just can't. 276 on the stock right now. So, you know, that's uh, well, I can tell you that. That I can tell you. But I don't know about this other stuff. Uh, of course they can, Mr. E. Uh, getting jizzy with it. I joined the stream at a strange time. Um, okay, okay, good. I thought we were all out on the dip here. Oh, my God. Um, uh, Alien276, uh, Sir uh, Dan Hammer, you can always donate to the Queen of Bagels. Oh, man, oh, man. How are we doing here? We got uh, 1,400 thumbs ups today. Thank you, everybody, for these uh, thumbs ups. I do appreciate it. It's awful kind of you to, to do that. Let me see if I can get to this GameStop channel myself. Let's see if this works. I'll go to GameStop, GameStop on YouTube and see if the channel is anywhere here. Uh, is, there a, is there actually a GameStop channel? Uh, is that what you guys are telling me? Is there actually a channel called GameStop? Um, I don't know if there's such a thing. Uh, let's go here. GameStop uh, conference call. Conference call. Uh, uh, conference call. GameStop call live. Uh, don't know if there is a uh, if there is a actual GameStop channel for this. Uh, and uh, GameStop. Here it is. Here's GameStop first quarter conference call. Let's go over here. And uh, there it is right there. And uh, let's see if I take off the volume here. Here we go. Uh, uh, here we go. Three thousand six hundred fifty five watching right now. Thirty six hundred fifty five watching. Thirty six hundred eighty watching right now. Uh, with 1,100 thumbs ups and six down, uh, but no comments. You can't make requests for Yoko, unfortunately. That's what's going on, uh, from what I can tell you. Anyway, zzz, uh, how about that? He he, he should have rickrolled. That's we should have rickrolled this thing. That's right. Laugh out loud. The music. Um, yeah, Uncle Bruce. If you had a calendar web page, you could join the conference from there. I placed a link. Uh, it's no Yoko, but it's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Sweet now. Uh, sweet now as stereo Uncle Bruce wood amplifiers. Yippee! Looks like I'm buying more now. Uh, thanks for the rebate. Two seventy four fifty on the stock. It's on sale. Uncle Bruce, just want to know why is there a sudden dip? I was expecting shares to rise to the moon, uh, but that that's that's how this stock works. It goes in the opposite direction. This stock is a George Costanza. It does everything in reverse, in uh, the opposite. GameStop music is almost as bad as Mrs. Yoko Ono. Rather hear Yoko than this. Uh, oh man, please play Yoko. SoFi on the move. Uncle B, I, can I get a ha ah, conference call link? Uncle B, you currently have more people watching your stream than GameStop is watching theirs. Atta boy. Uh, I don't think so. I have 1,700 of you here, but I think there's 30-something hundred over there, aren't there? There's uh, 4,100 waiting for that thing to start right now. 4,100. Oh, my gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, gosh, gosh. Uh, where is this calendar link? Um, anyway, SoFi, SoFly. They were playing Yoko as a waiting music. You'd know they were fans of the channel. There you go again, spamming your calendar. That's why people are annoyed, dude. Oh, no. Uh, Ron, uh, Ryan Cohen got 47,000 something, 47 million votes for and 79,000 against, and there are only 7.3 broker non-votes. Um, okay. Uh, that's interesting. Go, go, go to Investor Relations website, says Joanne. 
Um, a Tom, uh, Uncle Bruce, I own 25 shares at GameStop. I'm in at 108 cost average. Should I sell or hold? I would hang on to that. Uh, Michael, it, this isn't as bad as last call. I'm pleasantly surprised and we'll be buying more here. Uh, have you seriously listened to her music of your own volition, laughing out loud? Uh, no, no comment. Uh, I, I don't have to. I don't have to answer questions like that. Those are those are those are aggressive call. Ask questions. Uh, Forty-three hundred thirty-six people are waiting for the GameStop conference call to begin. Uh, the music is playing. It's just local. <laughs> Two seventy nine. My ears, my ears. Gosh, uh, the stock should be going up based on this music, 279.93. That music makes me feel like I'm trying to cancel my damn cable TV. Uh, oh gosh, uh, they should be playing Yoko. That's what they should be doing. They should be playing Yoko. There are now 5,169 people on that call waiting for that call to start. Uh, 5,000 journalists and 169 members of the public. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, 278.50, uh, what can I say? Um, would you be interested in an extended warranty? Th this sounds like Bach, must have been respect for the master, at least it's Bach. Seriously, this is worse than Yoko. The music woke me up from the nap. I got the worries, I, was, I didn't know what was going on. I, I'm a classical musician professionally and you're all hurting my feelings. 150, they need tens of millions of shares that don't exist. Uh, good fiddle music right there, that's good fiddling music. Oh no, we're down to 280. Uh, this is well above where we were weeks ago. Hold, uh, Bruce. From your experience, big players would first listen to call before making any moves. Yeah, I, I would say we'd listen to what they have to say. Uh, listen to what they say and watch what the stock does. Uh, yeah, that's what I'd be saying. Uh, and I spend a week of my time building a calendar, a web page, so I can easy for you. I spent for some person but never had a look at it. That's why I said that. Uh, that's why he said that. That's what what I'm saying. He said that. Um, we're still at 5,400 people here on this call. 5445, waiting for it to start in six minutes. Glitch, the year 2022. Games that was at $52,000 after 15 different splits. You take a helicopter to nearest GameStop, you serve us caviar and champagne on arrival. Life is good. This is worse than watching the price drop. Wake me up at 400. I love classical music. You guys need more culture. You're such shells. About ready to get a glass of wine and call my wife Buffy with that music. <laughs> Culturally, culturally refined. Thank you, you for joining the GameStop call. Your conference will begin shortly. See? Why don't they have gaming music? Yoko Movement 5 and G minor. This music makes me want to insult someone by calling them a saddle goose. What are we waiting for? The start of the, the conference call at GameStop. This is a nice the piece though. Milo the dojo is snoozing again. He must have looked at me when I typed Yoko. Hmm. I'm not placing a link to Calder anymore. Uh, how many uh, thumbs up? How many thumbs to shut that thing off? You're posting for appreciating Uncle Bruce's GameStop coverage. This sounds like we're on hold. Seriously, violence pretending to be a fox hunt or something. Thank you for joining the GameStop call. The conference call will begin shortly. That'll explain it. Uncle B, uh, who would be selling right now? Anyone, even institutions who are holding wouldn't be feeling the heat? 
27450. Uh, we will begin shortly. I got fine hoods playing in the surround sound of every room. Yoko! Uh, keep playing this. My dear old son just fell asleep. I can feel him getting smarter as he sleeps. This is nice. We should be playing the soprano song instead. The stonk is going to 10,000. I thought we were all just sitting around listening to classical music together. Uh, we're all going to broadcast the whole call. I don't want to leave. Uh, this is like being on hold with the IRS. At least that's what my friend told me. From a friend. Yoko, mute. Man, the idea to move the sub only comments. That really was a good idea in retrospect. Yes, it was. It was a very good move to make this move. Yes, it was. Uh, uh, the people playing have more talent than most people for the past weeks, at least. Server, so maybe I'm biased. Okay, longest elevator ride ever. There's a YouTube channel called GameStop with the call. 45 people waiting. Jethro, their technical definitely needs updating. 6,895 people are waiting on this uh, call to start. 1,589 are here. Okay, I feel, I feel like we're on a field trip with Bruce. Uh, 277 on the stock, trying to go up. What are we on hold for? The conference call with... Uh, Thank you for joining the GameStop call. GameStop. Your conference will begin shortly. Just waiting for the GameStop call to start. Uh, three minutes and counting, or less. The tunes they play are Concerto Grosso in minor A, Opus 6. Okay. Okay, I I'm too barbaric to appreciate it. So this is what an elevator to the moon sounds like. Is it normal for a dividend stock like IBM to have such a nice move up a few days before dividend day? Uh, can be, can be. Especially if people think the dividend's going to be pumped up. But this one is set, it's set. Funeral music for the hedgies. Yawn, Uncle Bruce, turn it down. It's super loud on our end. I love handle. Me, me, oh loud. Oh, it's so loud. That's right. There, it could be anybody. It didn't necessarily be handle. There, I've turned it down for you a little bit. Um, uh, don't start with pop. Uh, don't start with pop music. These kids all sound the same. Give me Bach any day. Let's pop some champagne. Good for them for streaming the call on YouTube instead of limiting it to 200 lucky saps like they did the last time. Are we ordering a PS5? How about some ACDC? I haven't felt this kind of hype since the last concert I went to. Tobias, yes. Uh, yes, we are uh, holding, uh, trying to determine if we're listening to American Bandstand or Soul Train. Uh, thanks for identifying the piece. I love Handel. Your call's important to us. Please wait for the next available Fel Wells Fargo agent. Soren, thanks for clarifying the tune. I also can't, I, I can't, uh, because of you, I cannot say. I'm going to short that lady's voice. She keeps saying the call will start shortly. I'm going to short her. Uh, AB, how ballsy would it have been to have Elton John, Rocket Man playing? That would have been pretty good. Um, uh, if only Bruce has something lined up on the turntable to drown out this music. If only he had a Yoko o Ono album on the turntable, he could drown this out right now. I feel like cheating on Bruce if I leave for listening to GameStop. GameStop 42 filing says max offering price of 5 million shares is 255.39. Oh, I don't know about that, but you you could be right. Maybe they, they might amend it. Uh, because they're playing these damn classical songs at the hedge fund funerals. Turn it up. Cool. If you listen through the whole earnings call, GameStop will send you a free PS5. Uh, expect no, uh, waiting for that rusty trombone solo. Uh, if it's too loud, you're too old. Uh, tra uh, translated into plain English, Grand Concert Hollow. They should have played Devil Went Down to Georgia. Or Short People by Randy Newman. Katy Perry music for me. Or get playing that mouth organ. Uh, thanks, Uncle B. Much better. Uh, T minus one minute. Uh, and counting. Buck it up. Buckle up, you apes. Uh, Soren T. Uh, wow, good catch. Uh, I requested your calendar, but I haven't received it, access to it. The suspense is unbearable. 274.50, right. Love Soul Train. They play them on local TV stations like like 4 a.m. on Sunday morning. Can you turn down a little more? It's it's like background, not louder than you. Um, hi, all. I hope everyone had a great trading day. Is it calm before the storming of the Bastille? ACDC, nah. Queen or Judas Priest, yes. <laughs> she should be saying, please hold. Name the classical tune. Uh, you're very welcome. It's a Danish letter called whatever, written in English, O-E, yay better, uh, or even David Bowie, ground control to Major Tom, or fly me to the moon, uh, tell, tell GameStop to play Freebird. Uh, Uncle Bruce, that music is putting me to sleep. A uh, next song to play on the on the call, Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, you should hold that option button when you hit the O. Uh, please, can you shut the lid on your record player? It's freaking me out, please. Don't, don't leave it open like that. I know Yoko is sitting there ready to go. 
Uh, I say play Metallica. <laughs> it does. It gives me a see. I see this. This makes me like like a saint, like you know, in the Bi the Bible days, you know, godlike. Bless you, my children. Thank you for joining the conference will begin shortly. It'll be, it'll begin shortly. You shall all be, go forth and multiply with many dollars. Conference call. At this time, all participants are in a listen-only mode. If anyone should require operator assistance during the conference, please press star zero on your telephone keypad. As a reminder, this conference is being recorded. It is now my pleasure to introduce your host, Eric Cerny, Investor Relations. Thank you, Mr. Cerny. You may begin. Thank you and welcome to GameStop's first quarter fiscal 2021 earnings conference call. This call will include forward-looking statements, which are subject to various risks and uncertainties that could cause actual results to differ materially from expectations. 283. Any such statements should be considered in conjunction with the cautionary statement and the safe harbor statement in the earnings release and risk factors discussed in reports filed with the SEC. GameStop assumes no obligation to update any of these forward-looking statements or information. A reconciliation and other information regarding non-GAAP financial measures discussed on the call can be found in the earnings release issued earlier today, as well as the investor section of our website. Joining me today is GameStop's Chief Executive Officer, George Sherman. On today's call, George will discuss our business and strategic initiatives, followed by a review of the financial results. Please note that we will not be doing a Q&A session at the end of this call. <clears throat> now I would like to turn the call over to the company's Chief Executive Officer, George Sherman. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining our first quarter fiscal 2021 earnings call. GameStop is off to a strong start to the year from both a sales and operations perspective. First quarter sales grew 25% year over year and we ended the period with $771 million in total cash on the balance sheet, an increase of more than $185 million compared to, to last year. Throughout the first quarter, we also took a number of steps that align with our previously stated priorities. These steps include adding retail and technology talent to our senior leadership team by appointing a chief operating officer, chief growth officer, and chief technology officer. We also made a number of other senior hires across brand, merchandising, e-commerce, supply chain, and fulfillment. Each of these new additions have proven backgrounds and experience from companies such as Amazon, Google, and Chewy. Second, we further strengthened the company's balance sheet by raising more than $550 million in net proceeds from our April ATM program. We also eliminated our long-term debt with a voluntary early redemption of our 2023 senior notes. Third, we expanded our fulfillment network by adding a 700,000 square foot facility in York, Pennsylvania. This new distribution center, which is expected to be operational by the fourth quarter of this year, will enhance our order fulfillment capabilities on the East Coast. Lastly, we continue to expand our product offering by adding natural extensions such as PC gaming, computers, monitors, game tables, and gaming TVs, just to name a few. We intend to continue taking steps to evolve the business and build a world-class technology infrastructure while simultaneously capitalizing on the emerging console cycle. Today, we also announced a new ATM offering for a prospectus filing to offer up to 5 million shares of our common stock. The company intends to use any net proceeds for general corporate purposes, as well as for investing in growth initiatives and further strengthening the balance sheet. Before I review the financial results for the quarter, I'd like to comment on this afternoon's press release announcing the hiring of a CEO and a permanent CFO. <clears throat> Matt Furlong, our incoming CEO, has an impressive background from Amazon, where he most recently led Australia and oversaw significant growth in that region. Matt is a proven e-commerce leader with a firm understanding of how to delight customers. His focus, intensity, and work ethic will set the right tone atop the company as we begin shifting to a growth phase. He also brings a strong understanding of brand and retail from his tenure at Procter & Gamble, where he began his career. Mike Recupero, our incoming permanent CFO, also joins us from Amazon, 
where he was most recently CFO of North American Consumer and CFO of Prime Video. Mike spent nearly two decades at Amazon and held a variety of senior finance roles across the organization. His experience helping business lines scale and achieve market leadership is exactly what we need going forward. I look forward to working with Matt and Mike to ensure seamless transitions in the coming weeks. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Diana Jage for her guidance and willingness to take on additional responsibilities during her time as interim CFO. Diana will return to her role as Chief Accounting Officer within the finance organization once Mike officially joins. Now turning to our financial results. Net sales for the quarter increased 25.1% to $1.3 billion compared to $1 billion in the prior year period. Importantly, we achieved this growth with a roughly 12% reduction in the global store fleet due to our strategic identification efforts and the continued store closures in Europe during the quarter due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Overall, gross margins were 25.9%, down 180 basis points from 27.7 in the fiscal first quarter last year. The decline was primarily driven by an expected increase in mix of lower margin sales. From an SG&A perspective, our reported SG&A expenses were $370.3 million, reflecting a decline of 16.2 million or 4.2% versus the reported SG&A in the first quarter of last year, and an 880 basis point improvement on a percent to sales basis. Adjusting for severance, transformation, and other costs, our adjusted SG&A declined $29.5 million or 7.7% year over year and reflects nearly 10 percentage points of sales leverage. We reported an operating loss of $40.8 million compared to an operating loss of $108 million in the prior year first quarter. Adjusted operating loss was $21.6 million compared to a loss of $98.8 million in the prior year period. Just holding income tax in the first quarter was an expense of $1.3 million, which compares to an income tax expense of $50.4 million in the prior year first quarter. Our effective income tax rate for the quarter was 2% and impacted by valuation allowances recorded in prior periods, as well as the mix of earnings across the jurisdictions in which we operate. We reported a net loss of $66.8 million or a dollar and one cent per diluted share compared to a net loss of 165.7 million or a loss per diluted share of $2.57 in the prior year first quarter. Our adjusted net loss was $29.4 million or 45, 45 cents per diluted share compared to adjusted net loss of $157.6 million or a loss of 244 per diluted share in the fiscal 2020 first quarter. In the first quarter, we continue to focus on strategically de-densifying our global store fleet, I can't understand. closing a net total of 118 stores in the quarter. At quarter end, we operated 4,698 stores across the globe. Turning to the balance sheet, we ended the quarter with cash and restricted cash of $770.8 million, $186.9 million higher than the end of the first quarter last year. Overall debt levels compared to the first quarter of last year were reduced by $504 million and reflect the redemption of $202 million of senior notes due in 2021, the voluntary early redemption of $216.4 million of 10% senior notes due in 2023, and the $135 million pay down of the company's asset-based revolving credit facility. At the end of the quarter, we had no borrowings under our asset-based revolving credit facility no long-term debt, and $48.1 million of short-term debt, which is a low-interest loan from the French government offered to us through the equivalent of the CARES Act in the U.S. related to the response to COVID-19. Capital expenditures for the quarter were $14.7 million. In the first quarter, cash flow from operating activities was an outflow of $18.8 million, an increase of $30.5 million compared to an outflow of $49.3 million during the same period last year. In terms of our outlook, we remain optimistic about both the emerging console cycle and our future. We recognize business risks remain elevated due to the pandemic and post-pandemic uncertainty, and we are not providing specific annual sales and earnings guidance. 
We are pleased with our start to the year and strong sales in May, which were up approximately 27% year over year. We remain focused on positioning GameStop for long-term growth as we prioritize delighting our customer and providing a differentiated and superior customer experience. Finally, given this is my last time speaking with you as GameStop CEO, I want to share that I'm very proud of what we have accomplished over the past two years, including navigating the pandemic and positioning the company with strong liquidity and an improved platform for growth. It's been a privilege to lead so many dedicated and talented team members who collectively possess tremendous passion for the gaming industry. We have helped bring stability and strength to the business, including by detensifying our store footprint, reducing cost and debt, and returning our company to growth. I also want to take this opportunity to thank our customers for their belief in us and an amazing group of shareholders who have so demonstrably exhibited their support for us. I look forward to working with our newly appointed board and leadership team going forward. Thank you again for your support and your interest in GameStop. This concludes today's conference. You may disconnect your lines at this time. Thank you for your participation and have a wonderful evening. How about that? There you go. That is what they did. That is how they did it. There were 16,700 people here on this call on the GameStop side. And uh, even my views went up when I was talking to you. Uh, listening to this, we went from 1,400 viewers to 1,700. Welcome to, uh, to, the, uh, to the take on this. What are your thoughts? What do you think about all that? Uh, interesting how they, uh, they won't take, uh, they're not making any comments. I'm kind of getting the impression that what's happening here is, is that they are going to go forward now with commentary with the new management. I think, with, you know, George is sort of putting a, put a bookend on his tenure here and he's closing this up. And fair enough. Uh, I can understand that. But now going forward, I think Mr. Cohen and uh, the new gentleman will begin, you know, leading it. Now, obviously, we know that the uh, the new CEO takes over on the 21st of the month. That's about, what, a couple, well, 12 days from now, he takes over. And um, uh, from then on, it's going to be the new CEO running the show. Um, their numbers were higher than predicted. Um, they are doing higher numbers with fewer number of stores. That's good. They didn't break down necessarily the, the, the deep deep dive into e-commerce at this point, but they did talk about that new distribution center, which is a good thing to hear about. Um, I'm pleased to hear about that, obviously. Um, they are definitely committed to e-commerce. I mean, there's no question about it. The kind of people they're bringing on now at these top levels, uh, these Amazon guys, these Chewy people, yeah, they are really looking to move forward into e-commerce in a heavy, heavy, solid way. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, plays out. Let me kind of adjust this. So you can, I had to adjust that a little earlier. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. 276.90 is the uh, the aftermarket right now, price on the stock. Uh, 1.7 million shares traded on the aftermarket. Um, is it a bad thing that they're going to issue stock? I don't think so. I think it's a good thing. I really do. I, I have been begging these guys and hoping and wishing and praying that they were going to issue paper. I really wanted them to do it. And uh, they're announcing that they're going to do it. This is good stuff. Frank Tron, Frank Tron, thank you for that. I appreciate that donation. And Zach, thank you for the uh, donation and the suggestion to use the wooden amp. Um, yeah, I'm happy they're offering 5 million shares uh, into the marketplace. Uh, if they can bring in a billion to a billion and a half bucks in cash, I'm a happy guy. I really am. I, I, I love it. Uh, this company is going to be cash rich, no debt, uh, earnings running higher sales shrink uh, losses shrinking away they've uh, by, by eliminating that long-term debt uh, they did cover it at the end there they, he's eliminated 20 million dollars in annual interest costs that would have come into this company's bottom line so the analysts out there are going to have to renew their redo their books but they're going to still come back you know this you know how this is going to work you know how these analysts are they're probably going to come back at you and say Oh yeah, well you know uh, they're they're not uh, you know not making money yet. And they're still going to lose money for the year, and uh, the shares are way overpriced for what they're doing. You know you know that's coming. I mean yeah, uh, but uh, I'm kind of excited about the the future of this company with re with regard to the people involved and what they want to take this company and turn it into, and if they are able to convert this company into really a a the chewy of this electronics field. Uh, with customer service like right up to here, I mean, super customer service with American-based call centers. Oh man, that would be really cool. Uh, that would really be cool. That would just, just differentiate them from most other outfits out there to have a full-blown U.S.-based call center grouping uh, of gamer fans of gaming. Oh man, uh, that would be great. Obviously, you did not hear anything in this call regarding 
the potential of e-sports. You didn't hear anything about NFT uh, possibilities as non-fungical uh, tokens. Uh, we know and we have seen already ads out there in the on the net from GameStop looking for programmers and key people to work on their website. Uh, they're looking for employees out of uh, Seattle area. Uh, they're, they're, we know they're hiring people in York, Pennsylvania for this, uh, for this uh, fulfillment center. I mean, this company is expanding and they're, I'm kind of waiting now to hear in the next, say, few weeks and months, once our new CEO joins the company, waiting to hear uh, other staff joining him that he's picking off. Don't think that uh, this guy's coming by himself. <laughs> that both of them, I don't think both of them are just going to come showing up, uh, you know, to the company without bringing staff with them from Amazon as well. That, that could well be happening behind the scenes. And don't also think that the headhunters aren't out there scouring for more. Um, it's interesting. Uh, thank you, Pal Guitars, for this donation. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm wondering if uh, there are a bunch of Amazon people hoping to hear from this company. Um, I'm wondering how many people would be easily stolen from Amazon and elsewhere to come into GameStop. This company is putting money on the counter. They are building their war chest. They're growing their business and they're diversifying into e-commerce. And this is not going to stop. This is going to continue on and they have the means to do it. This company is not on a life support system, nothing like that. Uh, I'm quite curious. We want to hear going forward the, the uh, plan for reduction of retail stores. Uh, obviously, they weren't taking comments and questions at this point in time. They were just releasing their numbers, releasing their facts, leaving it at that. Now we have to go forward to kind of guess from here. The stock's at 273 on the aftermarket. Uh, I was saying during the uh, during the final hour of trading today, $50 downside or upside, you tell me where this thing's going to go. Um, and we're at the moment 272. But this is only the aftermarket. This is not tomorrow morning on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, by the time we open tomorrow morning, we have to go through the rest of this aftermarket. We have to go through all the pre-market tomorrow morning. We have to interpret all what's going on and try to figure out where it's at. We've traded 1.7 million tonight. We could trade another million or more between now and tomorrow morning before we even open up. And we may actually open up at 290 and go to 320 a share. I don't know. It's entirely possible. Remember, so many of you who hold this stock you are retail investors. Most of you who hold this stock hold it in cash accounts. You don't even have margin against this stuff. A lot of you out there are uh, looking to get more on dips. And uh, there might be some of you trying to pick this up right now through the aftermarket uh, market trading at 272 a share. Uh, like I said, this stock here uh, has the potential to go much higher because I don't think the uh, retailers are going to be uh, kicked out. I just don't think retail sellers are going to be pushed out of the stock or going to want out. I think what they're hearing and what they're going to digest, they're going to like what they see. The momentum of this company is growing to the upside. And uh, uh, the thought was that this year the company would do only $5.5 billion in sales. Now, listening to the numbers coming out, we know that's not the case at all. This company is, is going to be by much higher by far than what the projections were. So now the question is, what will the sales come in at? Will they come in at $6 billion, $8 billion, $9 billion this year? How much higher than last year and, and, and comparative years prior will these sales come in at? And what will the margins net 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 margins be once they settle in and if they've built out this new corporation? Uh, lots to talk about, lots to think about, lots to wonder about. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll follow it. We'll be here. We never leave it. Uh, remember the shares two weeks ago were 145 to 165 a share. They're right now 269, 270 a share uh, on the aftermarket of 1.8 million shares. I'm not worried about it. I'm um, I'm quite uh, quite happy to see a little consolidation, a uh, chance for people to scoop up cheap paper. Let's see what it does. Remember, it was 240 last Monday. Uh, the Monday before that was 170. We've had a good run here, and it's looking good. Uh, Zach, uh, my pleasure. Just got caught up shopping, shopping with Bruce because uh, Uncle B is t taking us to the moon. There you go. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm. Um, you know, I, I've got confidence in this these group of people. I like the kind of hires that these guys are making. But can we control the minute-to-minute, -minute, second to second trading price of the stock? We cannot. You can only take your position, try to grab some cheap paper if you feel it's cheap to you. Last week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, you were buying 145 to 155 cheap paper. Right now it's cheap at 267. So what does that tell you? What a week it's been. Um 
we'll follow it going forward and see how far it can take us. Uh, the other shares that we're following out there, we have been keeping an eye on SoFi. Uh, the SPAC that used to be IPOE is now SoFi Financial. It closed at 22.71 on the market today, and the aftermarket is 22.80, up uh, nine cents. We're watching uh, that closely. We uh, we expect that to go much higher from here. Um, uh, the AMC closed at 49.34 on the uh, on the exchange. It's 46.40 in the aftermarket. It's not getting any help. Uh, Gore's Holdings closed at 15.87 on the uh, on the exchange. It's 15.80 on the aftermarket. Matterport will be taking that company over in the not too distant future. That's a spec that's going to go much higher. Um, we've got VGAC. Tomorrow is VGAC Day. Virgin Group Acquisition Corp Day tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day that VGAC will have a shareholder meeting and they will be converted into 23andMe. And that 23andMe, the symbol ME, will start trading on the New York Stock Exchange, I believe on Monday morning, Tuesday morning, uh, as ME. And uh, the days of this cheap stock at the $10 range may be over for good. We'll find out after the vote. Uh, that is tomorrow in the afternoon. It won't last long. It'll go through. Watch out. Uh, over at uh, Fifth Wall Acquisition, FWAA, another favorite of ours. It is 11.15, up 40 cents today on the uh, on the market. Uh, what a day for uh, FAII. That's FWAA doing great. Uh, Vector Acquisition closed at 10.63, up uh, uh, 16 cents uh, during the day today. 744,000 shares traded. Uh, that one is going to be a good one to watch too. Uh, that SPAC is shifting soon. Uh, NAV site at 994 traded 387,000 shares today. And Starboard value traded at 1001 today on 614,000. And over on Fortress, they're having their shareholder meeting in six days for their conversion to uh, uh, ATI physical therapy. Uh, that is coming up. And uh, those shares could be primed for a run as well. We've got. Uh, Neat stuff happening. We love it. Uh, we're excited. Uh, can you go through the the scenario of the hedge funds go bankrupt and so on? Any chance we don't get our money if it goes to the moon? Uh, we're going to the moon and beyond. Are uh, you going to do very well on these some of these stocks? I think AMC. We own 492 million shares. Roughly, insiders own way more than nine million. What are your thoughts on those numbers that came out? Unbelievable. Um, if that's how many shares were voted or are out there, it's unreal how many shares are out there. This stock is uh, is primed for a run. It's just a question of when the street gets it. When does the when does the stock market get it? That GameStop is so oversold. I don't know. Anyway, AMC here, nine hundred forty nine two nine trillion million. Uh, uh, what are those numbers that came out? AMC has the potential of taking another run. Uh, we don't know how high, how far, but. Uh, right now, it's consolidating, and that's just the way it is. 265 on GameStop right now. AMC in the aftermarket is at the moment 46.78. Uh, but, you know, it didn't go back to 12, did it? It didn't go back to 12. Uh, a lot of people were thinking, oh, it'll get to that. It'll, it'll have a little run here to 70, and it'll go right back to 12. Not happening. Not even on AMC. With 3.5 million shareholders, uh, there are a lot of folks who own AMC and are not giving it up. They're not going to give it back, uh, so keep an eye on that. Two uh, forty-seven bucks a share on AMC right now. <coughs> GameStop two sixty-six on the stock. <coughs> One point eight million traded as I'm choking on my own, my own body. I'm trying to eat myself here. What can I say? Two sixty-six on GameStop on 1.8 million shares. Uh, we'll keep an eye on these stocks, see how they work. Uh, we'll follow them tomorrow. We'll follow them the day after that. And uh, we'll just run them all the way to as far as they want to take us. I think we're going to have a wonderful summer. And we're getting ready now for Virgin Group and uh, and uh, uh, Fortress <coughs> to get their, shareholder <coughs> get their shareholder votes through the next five, six days. And those stacks will, SPACs will no longer be SPACs. They'll be new, brand new traded companies. And then we got four more behind that. And we'll follow each and every one of them, and we'll see how high they take us uh, and uh, make some money this year. So thank you, all of you, for being here tonight. Thank you for becoming members of this channel. Thank you for these uh, late evening, uh, late session donations. Appreciate this very much. Have a pleasant evening. Tomorrow morning, I'm on at uh, 8.30 in the morning, Eastern Time, one hour before the opening. We'll you'll be here. We'll watch the last of the pre-market tomorrow to see what these shares are wanting to do before they start trading. Then we'll be on for two straight hours. Three hours in the morning, two hours in the market, and we'll follow these stocks and see how high they want to go and what they want to do for us. And uh, away we go. GameStop, keep an eye on it. Uh, we'll follow it closely. We'll see how they want to perform for us.
They're now at 262, 264 right now. It's where they're trading at. And um, wait for this uh, stock to settle itself out, figure itself out. 1.8 million volume going for 1.9 right now. And there it is. We've got the GameStop story. Let's see what she does starting tomorrow. And we'll just take it higher. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful night. A good evening. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate all the uh, all of your kind words and, uh, and uh, support. And uh, thank you. Jennifer and I are going to take it easy now for the rest of the night. And we'll keep an eye on the aftermarket. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 8.30 Eastern Time, 5.30 where I live. Uh, still dark out when I go on the air. Unbelievable. And uh, we'll see if we play Yoko or not tomorrow. Okay, guys, take care. We'll see you. Bye for now.